Hey, and we're back. Um, <laughs> welcome, welcome, everyone. This is High Shelf Gaming yet again, doing another our final playthrough of Traveler RPG. <sighs> um, Archqueef, dude, thanks a ton for the raid again, and I'm loving all the AQ for Prez. Um, is that I'm getting the lowdown that there's like a critical role association there. I hope that you really get that that nod, and there might be some some fuckery about the ballot. Dude, screw those kids. Get on the ballot. Get paid. Just hack that website. <laughs> Just hack that website. Get you on, buddy. <laughs> um, okay. I got peeps. So uh, where we left off, uh, you'll notice we're down a person. Uh, he may be joining us later, but for right now, we've got uh, Zorn uh, just next to me in uh, Witness Protection, or Scott <laughs> playing Zorn <laughs> in Witness Protection. And then uh, next to him is, of course, Ethan playing Dismond. The uh, What are you again? You're like a crook that's gone clean. I'm, I'm retired retired i'm just here for fun retired i got it yeah no it's good it's good and uh next to ethan of course is katrina uh also from the uh critter community yay um uh, hi guys pl playing rose um which is like a you're like a no nonsense medical see zorn i didn't have to introduce you everybody knows zorn but <laughs> no nonsense uh scientist that maybe is a little on the iffy side when it comes to ethics just, I mean, that's maybe what you heard in the news, but I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and then, Remember, we all have three in our moral ambiguity. That's right, yeah. This whole crew is like, eh, really iffy on the whole ethics front, which is great. That's really honestly how you survive in Traveler. You don't do it by being super nice. Um, and then beneath what, are you, me, what are you talking about? I'm super nice. Z Zorn is like a beacon of good behavior <laughs> compared to everybody else. Uh, and beneath me is Rich playing oh did you days. put me below you i did put you below me oh, oh, oh thanks bro uh, by the way balachet posted he's driving right now and he hopes to get there and pbr john of course said be careful you know because you shouldn't be texting and driving which none of us on hsg support we <laughs> all support proper driving your motors vehicles safe texting and driving no drinking is... no texting no marijuana usage dude, dude no he's got no one state. of those he's got one of those uh autonomous Voice vehicles things? no he's got an autonomous oh. vehicle he just hands off you know he's just sitting there oh. and the car just gets him where he needs to go that's it's the, the moral kind of ambiguity. money boo brings in oh sorry uh pb i mean bp uh, i got it wrong again it's the moral sorry about that. but that was really <laughs> awesome of you to say be careful to balance because it is important that we arrive alive Yes. And just my shout out for safe driving, no road rage. Everybody, uh, you yep. know, chill on out there. Yep, exactly. Um, yep, Rose. Oh, and he's watching the stream while driving. Boo, what are you doing, dog? <laughs> all good, all good. Okay, so we have a handful of announcements. I've got some cute cards here for announcements. Oh, um, wow. He's just, really just, getting into just it. Just kidding, just the one. Um, I have a stack, but they're all blank except for this one. All right, so anyways, um, so uh, real quick, we're all going to be at Gen Con. I think all of us, right? Yeah, like yep. all of us are going to be at Gen Con, which is awesome. Um, Including Boo. Yeah, uh, Barry's going to be there. And so when we get to Gen Con on Thursday, the, the opening day is going to be kind of a free day for us, but at night, Thursday night, we're doing a big meetup. Um, so if you want to hang out with the High Shelf Gaming crew, show up to Super Robo Rally around 6 o'clock. Uh, Super Robo Rally. Oops, sorry. Super Robo Rally is a giant Lego Mindstorms powered board game. Oh, we're giving away. Are we giving anything away there, Dave? We're, well, it, there's a lot of spoilers <laughs> on the Facebook group. So if you're in our Facebook group, you will have seen that we've been voting on who gets what bot, where those bots are positioned. Um, we're gonna give away a pass to play the game. It's a fifty dollars value. We have one extra. We're gonna give that away at the time of the game, so you'll get to sit down and play with us if you're one of the lucky winners. Um, and basically, it's a raucous good time. We all have a lot of fun. It's about two hours, and then after that, we're gonna go to the bars, hang out, talk games, oh, talk role playing games, all that stuff. Two hours. Oh yeah, super yeah. rally. Yeah, six to eight. What? Are, well, I mean, what did I sign up for? <laughs> 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 You're like, dude. Yeah. Zorn has Zorn has autograph sessions. Zorn is busy. <laughs> he can't be Bro, spending. <laughs> my, my GoPro can only record ninety minutes video. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't turn it on until after thirty minutes, because everyone has no. to figure out how to drive, and then it gets snapped. 
yeah, 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 yeah. And while yeah. everyone plays, I will be running around talking to to those that have come out to watch. Um, yep. So hopefully we'll be able to chat while we're there. Yeah, definitely. Def yeah, it's a it's a really good time. We always draw a crowd, uh, and I hope that this year is even a bigger and better crowd than it's ever been, which will be awesome. Um, yeah, I'll play. I will play mine as Zorn. Like, yeah, I will become <laughs> Zorn for the game. Yes. Well, you, you wear need, a unitard. I was about to say you need the. <laughs> you know what? I you know I, I'm a cyclist, and I do have something very similar to what a wrestler would wear. <laughs> <laughs> you got oh, the bib God. and kit and Could all you that be stuff. So kind yeah. to me to make that happen, please. Oh, no, I don't know, that dude. Would I don't know, man. They, they run. They run <laughs> that AC real high. So you might be frozen to death if you showed up in like a, a cycling Bro, kit. I will, I, I will be cutting glass. And you'd be like, whoa. <laughs> Whoa, we gotta poke somebody's eye out. We got a, we got a situation out. over here. We need to get you like some sensor blocks that just wear around Hugo. your body. <laughs> Hi, Hugo. Hey, it's Hugo. What's up, man? Hugo has been in a ton of our games. Um, so, yay, welcome to the chat. And actually, so this is a good point. Hola, Hugo. Come on, star. If you want to play in one of these games, so after the after Gen Con, we're going to start up a long form cyberpunk game using the new cyberpunk rules, Cyberpunk Red. Um, if you want to play in any of our games, just join our Discord, join our Facebook group. And we put the call out all the time. Hey, we're going to run a game. And people raise their hand. Hey, I want to play. Right? That's how all of these people got into this game. It wasn't like a special audition or anything. I just said, who wants to play? And oh, wait, no, you no. guys, y'all didn't have to audition. Have to send back. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Rich made me send in a tape. What, you... well, <laughs> what was on that tape? With, with $100. It was me. It was with... me in the cycling bib. It was me in the cycling bib. Because I'm, I'm poly RPG-ish. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're, you're confusing so many things now. Oh my God, Rich. Um, so uh, hashtag Polly for Games um, from our last I episode patch. with um, uh, who was it with Lord. Nord Games? We had Megan on from Nord Games, yep. and we had coined the the hashtag Polly for Games. So you know, here let's just talk, toss that out there, Polly for Games. Thank you for the bits, Patch. Ooh, thank you so Hi, much. Patch. Uh, is Nefarious here and is Pullout King here? Those Nefarious have to be is some here. Of the oh, yeah. Names. Yeah, Nefarious Obituary. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> greatest names of, of, of all time. Yep. Um, let's see here. Last thing. I think that's it. We're going to be at Gen Con. Join the community to play games with us. Oh, and we're a weekly podcast if you haven't tuned in already. Um, so those are all my announcements. <laughs> Does anybody Pull have out. anything else to say? Pull out. When King I die, there. can Yay. Nefarious write me an obituary? Because I think I'm pretty close to dying in this game. <laughs> That'd be awesome if Nefarious, you wrote obituaries for every character I kill. If you do this thing, maybe more characters would die. I'm not saying it's like cause and effect. I'm just saying that, you know, odds lean one way or the other based on whether or not we can get some obituaries out of here. Oh, dude, Artsqueef, Hey, what you are, are we doing tonight? It just feels like we're hanging out, and it's really cool. I just realized we're playing a game, though, aren't we? We are, and we're in the middle of combat. I mean, you guys, we left it off All last right. session with you guys basically ready to kick down the door of your neighboring ship and try and take it. And uh, don't worry, Pullout King, you're famous to me. I don't know if these people know you, but I know you. You're good peeps. Um, <laughs> David. <laughs> yes. Um. Thanks to Patch for giving a sub to one of our, to pull out King. Yay. Thank you. Yay. All right. So cool. Enough watching the chat Enough all that stuff. We're going to focus on <laughs> you guys, whether you live Not or die really. in this. Well, that's fine, but we got to play this game. <laughs> <laughs> so you can be distracted all you like while you are point person through this door. So distracted point person Ooh. is a dead point person. So when I die, I can just hang out and make comments. Right? No, I mute you. After <laughs> you oh, no. <laughs> mute it. Only the living kicked. speak. You get kicked from the Discord group. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Entirely. He's my co-host, and I kick him from the Discord group. Wow. All right. Uh, so I'm going to keep the same initiative we had last time. So, Jays, you're going last, uh, my friend. Um, Desmond. No. Uh, you are, you have recently been patched up by Rose, and you are in this hallway over here. Um, you've been told that you guys are going to storm the ship next door. Jay's has gone through your airlock, and she's at the outermost door of your ship, waiting to breach. Or not breach, but leave your ship and head towards their ship. Um, what does Dismond want to do? Uh, Dismond's going to take up a position behind the airlock door. 
and uh, just wait wait a beat and see where Jay's is going. So Jay's is at the airlock door. You can stack up right behind her yeah. if you want. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you, you're both in the airlock. If you guys shut this door now, you can open the door out into space. Now, yeah. um, your all of these ships, any doors that it, it are exposed to, potentially exposed to, to, uh, to, to vacuum, they have a little red blinky light whenever there's vacuum. And looking at that light, it's not on. So whatever umbilical they had connected from the uh, from the police ship that had shown up, loaded with pirates, fake uh, police ship, fake police. Well, yeah, absconded with police ship. Uh, who knows how they got that ship? But that umbilical is presumably still attached and still has pressure because there's not the little red light flashing saying that there's a, there's a vacuum on the other side. Um, so Are we in vac suits. Yeah, so you guys normally like the- wear vac suits, um, mm-hmm. especially when you're in like normal space. You just have them on. They might be unzipped and open with your cowls off and all that kind of stuff, but you know, you sh- that's like a, a a minor action to get all that zipped up. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that as well. I'll yeah, get, get ready. Yep, you check your seals. Your pressure is good. Um, you have uh, you have how much? I think it's like six hours of oxygen. Um, in the thing, so plenty for this fight. You'll either be victorious or dead um, by the end of this, so you're That's good. That's a plan. <laughs> um, so, so getting to here, out. getting to here, it doesn't cost you very much. You still have a significant action if you wanted to do anything else. Uh, I'm gonna wait on Jay's. Jay's take a point. Okay, Jay's is. I'll last. It'll be a minute. Yep. Um, all right, Zorn. Zorn is next. Zorn, you're down here in the cargo bay. This dude has this guy right over here. He is floated off around the corner using his little grav belt. He went the. No, I, I killed him. No, you shot him. You, I shot him from. You cut him and you died. shot him. Oh, did he die? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he did. Oh, that's right. Because you, you had the. You blasted had the thing. one dude. All right. Well, you see, you see his body go. Just kind of off into a, a direction, because he had, he had yes. programmed in a thing, so it's it's heading somewhere. Um, but he's presumably dead. Um, Morbid. And, uh, yeah. So can, can I see their ship from where I'm at? So, yeah, you glance, you go to the edge here, and you glance out, and their ship is a little bit shorter than yours, but maybe wider. And sure enough, you can see the other ship, right? I mean, if you look around the corner, you can see their sh- spaceship. It's, it's pretty close to yours. Now, um, the engines are on. And you notice the ship is starting to turn. Um, turn, like, away from you. It's slow, because it's a spaceship. But it's, it's like, no, nah, I'm out of here. <laughs> and those engines are, are very slowly uh, being pointed towards you. Very slowly being pointed towards your ship. What's being, the engines are? The engines are, of the other ship. Yeah, the, so they're, if you kind of imagine, both your ships are side by side, you know, going through space. And they're like, right. nah, fuck this, we're out. And you're so, down here at the bottom looking at their ship doing this, nah, fuck it, we're out. <laughs> so so would I feel as if I could make it to the front of the ship to board them before they take off? Or is it something where in my head I need to jump out into the space and latch onto their ship? So you've done a lot of groundwork. But just a ton yes. of halo drops onto planets, mm-hmm. neutral, neutralizing threats, um, yeah. all of those things. Shipboarding is not something that Zorn has done a lot of. Um, yeah. But this boat's moving slow. Um, just kind of nature of the beast there. They tend to move kind of slow. Um, for you to jump across or to make it across, you have some options here. You could run through your ship back to the command deck and go through the main airlock where you see the umbilical is still connected. Or you have mag boots on. You could run along the outside of the ship and jump over. Um, either one is is feasible. Now, you've heard of Star Marines making the leap across the void, um, but you've never done it. That's not something Zorn's ever done before. Um, so you totally have... Those two pretty good options uh, for you. There might be other options that I haven't thought of, but those are the two standard ways. Either through the airlock passage, or you just leap. It's a good day to die. I'm going to run across the space. the space. I'm going to yell back at Ed, though, however, to man the guns, Ed. 
Awesome. <laughs> Awesome. Earn your keep. Yeah, so you uh you radio that because it's all vacuum or yeah, you just mm -hmm. radio it. And uh Ed is like radios back to you, you got it. And he's like all zipped wait, up. But don't shoot me, just wait until I get <laughs> the man. You just told him to man the guns. You didn't tell him to, to shoot everything he sees. So mm -hmm. so presumably he'll do some friend or foe before he does anything. So yeah, you run along the outside of the ship here, and Zorn, dude, you leap. Alright. So you're you're out in the inky black of space, suspended between these two ships. Oh yeah, uh, give me a uh, athletics or um, uh, acrobatics, whichever one you like, plus strength or dex. Hex, dex would be fine too. But I really think this is a strength thing to get you across fast enough before the ship moves out of the way. Hey, Dex. Yes, I got your text. Check your. Okay, thank you. Oh, I've got like zero G or vac suit. Is that something I can roll with? Um, so zero G is going to help when you land. Um, okay. Oh, do you not have any athletics? I thought you had athletics. No. If, if you don't have athletics, just roll zero G then. Zero G plus dex or strength. I'm happy with either one. Nice! Nice, 11. Oh, dude. <laughs> what a time to roll an 11, my friend. Because <laughs> if you didn't make it, oh. <laughs> it's problematic. Um, was, there any, was there ever a question? Yeah. So um, as you're leaping across, you see this guy's, um, you see this guy's uh, vac suit or his combat, his combat armor. Um, whatever grav belt he's got, uh, uh, takes his body and just kind of like limply flops it against the other ship and then drags it against the hull as he's like crumpled up, folded up, you know, at the, at the waist, as it drags him along the, the hull of the ship going towards some programmed destination, which is, I don't know, maybe invalid now because the ship is moving. Um, so <laughs> Little macabre as it kind of glides across the uh, the thing. Space here. sucks, dude. Space is no good. You do not want to be stuck in this place. <laughs> uh, no, I'm going to be safe because I'm changing my name to PA Perryman, but we'll see. I'm almost there. PA Perryman. Oh man. Okay. All right, Zorn. That is good for you, Benheim. I'm going to just say that Benheim is staying on the boat, and uh, he is going to man. Um, some sort of station, you know, go to the station, pull up engineering, pull up uh, pilot probably, and um, and he's going to do something there. So he's getting situated there. Rose, what is your plan? I'm monitoring communications. Um, are you going to go back onto the bridge or are you going to do anything with Dismond and Jays before you go onto the bridge? Well, I just pumped Jays full of drugs. Jay's and I think truck. I've already... I think I've already tried to heal Desmond, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. You've given Desmond all you can. I have a lot of drugs at my disposal, and I'm not completely sure what they all do. So, Oof, whatever nice. would be... Of all of them. What would be best for me to give Desmond? Um, so there are drugs that make people stronger. There's drugs that make them faster. Um, About to be doing a lot of shooting. Yeah. So is that a faster sort of? Faster, yeah. Faster would probably be better. Yeah. This is like a Daft Punk song. So <laughs> I actually ask uh, Desmond for consent before I actually. Get <laughs> you on didn't the ask drugs. Jay's. You just filled no, her I veins were well, full of stuff. I knew what Jay's was <laughs> wanted. I like. I knew already that Jay's was like. Give wow, me the I'm not touching this one at all. I'm not touching. It. You know what she wanted? I don't think so. I'm not touching it. All right. But I do uh, make sure that it's cool with Desmond before I give him drugs. Yeah, Desmond's just like, oh, yeah, it's just like the old days. Cool, let's go. All right, cool. I'll <laughs> yeah, pump you, him full of... Desmond, there's a seal on your neck for your, for your vac suit. You pry that open so that she can just hypo. Yeah. Star Trek style. The stuff into, yeah. your, into, your, into your veins. All right. And then you and then you close it back up and the two of you very quickly like kind of pat it down to make sure that the seals uh, re yeah, re adhere. Yep. Um I and, think you need to roll for that. Yeah, I want both of you to make a quick uh, vac suit. Uh what do you want me to roll? Vac suit plus intelligence for you and vac suit plus dex for you, Dismond. 
I don't even think I have that in my Do I get a bonus to that because of the drugs? Nope. Okay. Not yet. Those drugs are a taking effect. <laughs> uh, just then, it's gonna be. If you don't have Vax suit the skill, then it's gonna be just straight. I got uh, a nine. Straight intelligent. Oh, that's good. That's good. It feels good. It feels right. Let's see if it is right. Intellect. So I have mm-hmm. a one. Mod. Yeah, there you go. Little do you know, she gave you the placebo. <laughs> she gave you the the sugar water. Awesome, awesome, good stuff. Be the first. Time. Good stuff. All right, yeah. So you guys, you guys check those seals. Um, your high degree of confidence that you uh, that that Dismond is ready to go into space. Uh, and Rose, you now have a simple action. You know, uh, you can move in onto the bridge if you like. I think that's where you wanted to go next. Sorry, say it again. I'm sorry. Uh, you have a simple action left over. I think you wanted to go onto the bridge. Is that where you want to end up? Yes, please. Okay. Rose moves to the bridge. All right, bottom Jays. You're sitting here. The um, again, the airlock I'm cycles. Called, I'm called PA Ferryman because no. he's dropping subs all over the place. And I need all the love I can. Love it. All right. Um, real quick, I can I can hear some typing. We're all good. Um, so uh, Perryman. <laughs> PA Perryman, Jays. Uh, you're at your airlock door. The door behind Dismond just irised shut um, in kind of a fast cycle. Your room has not quite equalized with the with the umbilical tube, but you could pop it right now if you want to. If you want to rush across, otherwise you're gonna have That's to wait. A hell yeah! All right, so no, you're not gonna wait. No, I'm All right, waiting. This cool. Is going- cool. All right. What so do I roll? You pop the seal. Nope. You just hit the big button. The door iris is open. There's a pressure change between the two. Your ship was at a higher pressure than the other ship. Um, so there's this gush of air pulling you into the thing. Now, I think I Jays believe- would just go with it. Yes, that's exactly what I do. All right, cool. So you you uh, mag off, and you're just, you're just drifting into this umbilical. Now, here's I what you realize you now that you're in the awesome. umbilical, now that I got you in here. Um, I can believe <laughs> you're slowly floating towards the other ship, and you can you can perceive that the that the door for the other ship is very slowly getting further away from you, and this umbilical hasn't detached, and you can see as the soft walls are beginning to be stretched thinner I reach and thinner. As far as I can with my arm <laughs> to touch the door. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna get you're gonna get across. Yeah, you you can push off of I'm things. I'm pushing it. All right. Yes. Um, give Everything me. I can do to get closer. Give me either zero G would be best. If you don't have zero G training, then athletics. You know I got zero G. You know I have zero G with two skill levels. Awesome. Then give me the decks. And dex yeah, zero zero G plus decks. Plus decks plus one thousand on my decks. Come on. Jesus, I rolled so terrible last game. There is no way when I hit this submit button, it is not the best roll in Traveler history. (laughs) Nine. Not the best roll. Hey, you you make it. With a four to two, you make it. (laughs) Dude, a plus three is great. Um, So, yeah, Jay, you're through the ever-collapsing umbilical. Um... And boom, you're at the uh, you're at the other door. That was your move. You have a significant action left over to get you. What do you want to do now that you're at this door? Oh, I think I opened the door. You open the door. How do you I want to open the door? Inside that ship because it's about to be. Well, there's obviously a big button that says open. Yeah, yeah. You you it. you run the thing. Nothing. You're like Seriously. open. No. Seriously. Sir. Okay, I knock politely. <laughs> conk, conk, conk. No, 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 open. no immediate opening. <laughs> okay, so I have a significant action here. Yep. I kind of use some of it going. No, no, that was all part of your. I'm going to say that's all part of your your simple, you know, your 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 minor action to get across, hit the button, which is normal, and okay. go ahead, Heather. Can I somehow force their airlock open? So through, through computers, computers, you definitely could probably next round though. Okay, yep. I'd love, but, like to do that. Yep, yep, good stuff. If this doesn't work, whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I would like to take that significant action and make sure. Okay, can I do like two things? 
I want to make sure my back suit's all sealed, and I want to slap my mag boots on this base. Okay, that's yep. Yeah, that, you you checked your vac suit before you left this ship. We already did that okay. last round okay. or last Just last there. session. And then mag boots, yeah. That's I mean, I'm fine with you ending with your mag boots chuk, chuk, on this ship. I'm gonna spend a significant action going. Um, hey Rose. <laughs> All right, you're radioing for help. You you this do a phone a, a friend. Geez, uh, <laughs> PA param. I um, need you to um, hack this ship now. All right, good stuff. Good stuff, Jays. All right, top of the round. Um, these guys are unseen. They're doing stuff. Desmond. Uh, I'm heading across the umbilical. Um, do you want to... Probably got pulled a little bit that way anyway. It, a, a less than she was, but a little bit, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Do you... Yeah, go ahead and give me either a zero G or an athletics. Um, athletics uh, would be kind of you like moving along the the edge of it, kind of handhold, hand over hand. Zero G is you kick off and you like float towards it all badass style. Uh, let's see. Like Jay's okay. did. Like Jay's did. So I don't have zero G. I have vac suit. Well, vac suit is making sure your vac suit works. Yeah. yeah. I also have strength or athletics coordination. Do that. Do Ooh, that one. Perfect. That's the one to do. Nice. All right, cool. Yeah, you make your way across. You use the umbilical a little bit to get you there. Um, the important thing is you did not rip the umbilical while you're in the middle of this process, this pressurized umbilical. Um, so, boom, you guys are both at the other ship. And we are going to change venues, my friends. Um, Ooh. Oh, we're going to a new map. All right. The big um, blob. It's a big, it's a big blob. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. And I need to move your tokens onto here. Heather, you're on the you're on the map just so we have you there. You're fine. Mm -hmm. um, yep. Jay's, you are at the door. And uh Disman, you are next to the right behind Jay's. And Zorn token. Zorn, you are um you're kinda over whoops. Where did Zorn's token go? Should have done this earlier. Come on now. There you go. Zorn, you are floating across. You're going to be on on uh, right around here at the top of the at the top of the ship, um, at the top of the map. And let me do all the stuff. Zorn. <laughs> Change. All right, Zorn, you should have control of your character. Dismen, you should have control of your character. And Jay's, you should have control of your character. Oh, actually, not quite. Jay's, there you you're go. You're denying me control. There, there we go. go. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So Zorn, yeah, you're gonna be on that wall because you're you're leaping from the wall of your ship to the wall of their ship. Um, you see this umbilical pretty close to you. It is stretching thinner. Um, now, as you saw this ship. Just to give you a little extra information, because uh, you're outside of the umbilical, you can see the umbilical attaches from airlock to airlock. These are presumably the two only airlocks for either ship. But as you are coming across, it looks like the top of this ship also has an airlock, a pretty big one, like uh, big enough for a small craft or something. It's at the very top center of the boat. It's currently locked um, or, or, you know, shut and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, you, you, you know that on your, on your way in. Um, so at the top of the round is Dismen. Uh, Dismen, you're in this umbilical. Let me, uh, draw it out while you tell me what you want to do. Um, let me see if I have any applicable skills here. Um. Do you have a kick-ass skill? I have computers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that's about it, though. Okay. Yeah, you can go up uh, to this door and try and computers your way through it. I have a mechanic as well, but I don't think that applies. Oh, yeah. No, totally. A mechanical entry into a door is 100%. They're, they're both the same skill, okay. I think. So uh, what, would, what would be the attribute I would use? Um, in either one, I guess with mechanic, you, what you're trying to do with mechanic is uh, pop open the, the, the forced entry like lever that allows you to like do a rescue entry. Um, so that'd be like a strength, mechanic plus strength. Um, there's no okay. cleverness associated with that, whereas the computers is probably going to be computers plus intelligence or computers plus intellect or uh, education to get you through. Still leaving me equal, so uh, 
Do Computers it, are always cooler than string. I don't know, dude. Yeah, but which which one of those do I know? Which one would be easier to accomplish? The simplest method is the mechanical entry. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with that. Okay. General mechanic. So you, uh, oops, I did not mean to do that. Let's um, have a little line here that I need to delete. Delete. So you guys kind of swap positions, Disman. You get up front and you pop open the hatch and there's like, I mean, it's just a lever. You know, you're mm -hmm. just pumping this thing, trying to force the door open. Um, yep. uh, so go ahead and give me that roll to see if Ooh. you're able to. Big money, big money, big All right. money. Yeah, it's, it's, money. it's, it's, Small it's, money. it's tough. Um, oh, dude, that was a terrible roll. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> two and a one. Um, and a wait, one. hold on. I was supposed to have plus two. It does. Oh, uh, yeah. No, two... it's only giving me plus one in the breakdown. 2d6 plus one plus zero. No, um, yeah, I see in the breakdown. Uh... Oh, that's that's the wrong roll. Okay, I see. So uh, one of, There's a roll stuck on my thing right now. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, so on the die, you rolled a two and a one. Right. And, okay. Uh, so should it have been a four instead of a five? Uh, no, no, it should be a five. Okay. Um, so yeah, you, you're, you're wrenching on this thing and it's not easy, right? I mean, this thing is super not easy. Um, but either way, you're, you're working at it. Yep. Zorn, what do you want to do, buddy? You, you can't really see into the umbilical. I mean, you can see some forms through there cause the umbilical is lit and you can see the shadows of, of these two. It's kind of, kind of think of it as like a, a white, a white opaque plastic, so you can see forms through it, but you can't really see who it is or what it is. You you know it's your people, but it you can't you can't make out which one is which. I radio communicate to them. I'm going up top. I'll go through the top hatch and I run across the body of the ship. All right, go ahead and give me a zero G plus Dex or Strength, whichever one you like, to make sure that your maneuvering is uh, is a okay. All right, cool. Um, so it's a you don't like slip off the ship or anything like that, but it is tough going. The ship is moving, so there's thrust going on, um, and yes, and it's just is. it's just it's just tough. But uh, you start making your way along the uh, along the edge of the ship. You got your hands on it, you know, magnetic hands crawling, and it's just slow going. Um, so unfortunately, this round you're not able to get to that to that top uh, hatch, but you are making your way up to it. Does that make sense? Sure. All right. Um, all right. Let's see here. After Zorn, Benheim is doing stuff, probably piloting to keep your ships from getting too far apart. Um, Rose. I am here. I promise. Um, I So they still need to get into the other airlock, right? Yeah, they haven't yeah. succeeded in that effort. Oh, okay, I, I want to attempt to hack it and... Cool. Give me a computers plus education. Uh, it's going to be tough because they've got their own, you know, countermeasures, just like you have countermeasures. But mm -hmm. by all means, give it a give it the old college try. But I'm well, well, yeah, but you well, are awesome. So, um, but I'm clever, and you're a you're a player, a PC. PCs should be successful. Is that, is that oh my! Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. That was a sick, nasty roll. Awesome. Okay. Yep. So this door, uh, she the shit. Iris is open. Um, now you guys, both of you, need to make zero G rolls because now there's air coming back at you, pushing you off this door. I announce like as I'm going through it, like, okay, I'm working on this, working on that. All right, and get ready. Three, two, one, and give them a bit of a warning. Uh, yeah, totally. Yeah, that's totally fine. Um, is there anything besides zero G that would work here? Uh, athletics. You could also do athletics. athletics. Okay. Athletic strength for you because you're gonna have to hold on to that umbilical cool. to that not get too. pushed off of it. Nice, Rich. Oh my God, that's a great roll, Rich. Dude, all I right. Just kinda, like, yeah. Disman, you this like it's you, old hat. you put your hand on this umbilical and you can see it stretching to its absolute max but I you're no 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 but you're you're okay. good you're you're at its max a little allow and it doesn't rip uh and you are you you guys are good to go you guys see into this boat you've got the airlock right here now um 
I want to I want to say that now that you can see into the ship and you can presumably hear into the ship because you're all in pressurized area, you hear over the speakers of the ship blaring pornography, just like all the grunts and moans and and a billion climaxes all happening at the same time, just blaring over these speakers as kind of a psyops thing to keep you guys from being able to speak quietly amongst one another. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> it's, this um, reminds me of the last time I went on R&R. &R. <laughs> and it is obnoxious, and it is loud. Um, but I have a kitty gauss rifle. I'm ready to go. Doors open. Jays, what do you do? Oh, I'm in. All right, Jays. Uh, you get in. Uh, oh, let me uh, move your little piece. Little piece. Okay, cool. So you're in the main airlock. You've got two what look like um, equipment doors or uh, like lockers, you know, like where people would put vac suits or, you know, things that you might need before you leave the boat. Uh, and then you've got this, this other door to your right, um, right here. This is an iris. So it's, it's the other end of the airlock. Um, these, these, these two doors here, these are like um like a like like person sized garage doors, you know, that slide up and roll up into a thing. So these are little simple doors. You recognize these as like a locker door or something like that, an equipment door. But yeah, this is this is the way onto the ship for sure. Well, that just tells me I need to open those doors because I'm not looking for potions. This isn't Final Fantasy checking every drawer. We're going right in. All right, so how do you want to open this iris? Is there a big button that says open? Totally. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I press the big button that says open. <laughs> hey, Rose. <laughs> this is yes. Uh, Jace. Yes, Jays. Hi, Jays. I'm over here in the airlock, and um, I need some of your computer godliness or godness to get god, god, you know, knock this shit out. <laughs> so... I send an SOS. Cool. You send an SOS. <laughs> uh, Disman. It it's sung by Sting. Yes. <laughs> send it out. In. All right, Disman. Uh, you're you're on the boat. If you want to be on the boat, um, that's I, uh, super when, easy. Uh, what does Disman? When he sends your message, when he sends a message, though, the porn goes through. It. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I you can hear say. it. You can hear it. Yeah, it's, he's like, "Hey, Rose, uh, uh, could you like fix this problem for me?" Uh. Hey, what are you guys doing over there? Remember that first R and R I went on? <laughs> so, I want to use my psionics. Okay. Uh, clairvoyance has an ability called tactical awareness that just allows me to detect any enemies within range as well as kind of mitigate the effects of any outside effects on my awareness. Okay, good. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the, my question is, how many extra points do I need to spend to get that to cover the entire ship? Because um, I can cover up to... Uh, 50 meters with an extra point or up to 500 meters with two extra points. So if you spend two extra points, I'll give you the entire ship. You can scan the entire ship psionically. If you spend just the one point, I'll let you pick either... Uh, if I ping... Can you see this ping? Um, if I ping in the middle of the boat, can you see yes. that ping? Okay. So I'll let, you, I'll let you scan out to here in this direction... Or over here, where you know the bridge to be. The bridge is going to be kind of towards the front cone of the boat. Um, so with just one extra point, I'll let you scan either of those two areas. I'm gonna spend. I'm gonna spend the two. Okay, for the whole ship. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go for the whole ship. Awesome. I'm about to just know everything that happens. Sweet. Yeah. You. You detect magic, but instead of detect magic, you're detecting life. Um, uh, I do have to roll for that, though. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Okay. So, yeah. Look at you. I Look at an you. Eight. You got it. All right. So, yeah, you you are in here. It's tough to focus because you've got this, like, blaring, like, oh, oh, God. All of this, like, just pounding into your ears. But you, you cut through that noise, and you That's detect. Crazy. You detect there is one person here, right, mm -hmm. on the bridge. You detect there's one person in the back of the boat, and there's um, multiple people. Now, those life signs are a little bit weaker um, than the other two. 
but you do detect that there are multiple people here, like three. Okay. Very cool. Yep. All right. Um, and yeah, uh, you can hit the door, hit the button behind you to shut the door behind you so that mm -hmm. uh, it, it normalizes pressure. Cool. All right. You are all in, my friend. Zorn! You are army crawling your ass up this up this boat uh, to the top of it. Um, what do you want to do, friend? Yeah, I'm just trying to get to the to the hatch. Yep. All right. So whatever I need to do to do that. Yeah. Again, uh, zero G or athletics. I think zero G is what you got, and you can either do dex or strength, uh, however you want to get there. Okay, I've got to get to the hatch. <laughs> get to the hatch. I, I I I'm on the comms. Oh, you that broke up. Beautiful Could, thing I've heard couldn't hear tonight. you after you said over comms. What do you say over comms? Over comms. I'm saying to say, I'm trying to get to the hatch. I've got to get to the hatch. I've awesome. got to get to the hatch. Awesome. Good stuff. So, yeah, yeah. you are. Oh, let's see here. Tough. All right. I'm going to leave your character there just so you can see him. But, yeah, you're at the hatch. Now, this hatch is um, 15 ish feet wide, about 20 ish feet across so it's a big ish hatch um and yeah you're you're at the thing um i'm gonna say that was your minor action what do you want your significant action to be open the hatch all right cool how would you like to try and open this hatch it's certainly not going to be like an easy like hit the button so um computers mechanics uh anything else that you want to try to get in just like raw strength trying to like pry this thing open um I have mechanics. Sweet. Give me a give me your mechanics plus strength to see if you can't like uh, you go and get the uh, emergency opening panel, bust that open, and you're uh, you're messing with that uh, that that. Wow! Nice fifteen. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! whoa. Cool, my friend. Um, so at the end of this round, this hatch. <laughs> Pops open. There's a huge rush of air, um, but you get that sucker popped open and uh, just wide enough for you to crawl through. Not like so open that you can just like, like no just walk in. But you can, out through you, the hole. you can crawl in. Nope, no bodies, no bodies come flying out, and you can <sighs> now see into this area. It is an <clears throat> empty hangar. It's an empty <clears throat> hangar. <clears throat> And this is what how is this? we got banned from Twitch. Stop that, no. Nope. No, for real, that can get us in trouble. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> what was it? It was nothing. It was nothing. We're moving oh, okay. on. So It was the sounds of inside the ship. So Ben. Ben is uh, going to be joining us later. He is still piloting the ship, trying to keep the ship close to the other ship. Rose, what do you want to do? Um, I think that they're still stuck at an airlock, correct? They are at the second door of the airlock, yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh, come on, big 12s, so big 12s, I want, big 12s. My primary goal is to get that airlock open. My yes. secondary goal is to get that porn shut off. Okay, yeah, uh, you're going to have to focus on the airlock, because airlock entry is major stuff. Um, okay. So you're going to spend this round on the airlock. Mm. All right, cool. Yeah, I mean, you... You know where the door is, but the countermeasures are keeping you out. It's uh, it's 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 more than just a straight success you need to get through this door. So unfortunately, they're keeping you out at this point. All right, Jay's. Will the Goss, will the Sorry, Jay's. I'm trying. Will the Goss gun shoot through this or? Maybe. Okay, hold on. I have nothing. I have no computers. I have no mechanic. Oh, shut up! Stop. Computer off. <laughs> <laughs> I have that was my Alexa wanting to start doing whatever I said. Sorry. I have no Oh man. Can I blind roll mechanical? Sure. Yeah, to minus three, but you can do it. Alright, so I'm just gonna pick like do I just pick a skill I have that's zero zero and see what it turns out to be? Uh just just roll your just roll your strength and we'll just minus a three off of it. Alright, roll my strength. Uh, 
Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Baseball. Oh, nope. nothing. Yeah, yeah, no, you're you're sitting there messing with, and you can't even get the you can't even get the the pry bar to to budge. Um, and you, yeah, uh, it's tough. It's tough. I mean, uh, breaking into a ship is tough. <laughs> you, yeah, you either yeah. have to convince them to open the doors, or uh, you get kind of stuck here. Um, so I use the rest of my action to get the hell out of Desmond's way for next turn. Okay. Yep. All right, Desmond, it's it's uh, you're up. You're up top. Okay. Um. How much full auto fire into the door would it take for it to just pop open? Oh, so you yeah. could um, you could shoot this door a bunch and start turning it into Swiss cheese, but this is a whole lot like using your you know AR fifteen to just like cut a hole into a wall, right? Right. Great in like cartoon yeah. theory, but really tough to execute because this door is multi layers thick. You know, you, thing. yeah, I mean, it would be <laughs> tough it, and you might actually jam up mechanics so that like your other options of getting through this, sh- through this door become less viable because you've yeah. broken Computer things. Computer this ship, bro. That's fair. I'm going to mechanic it. All right. I don't know. How'd that go? No. Oh yeah. You guys are, you guys are both. What did the drugs do again? Um, the drugs for you, I think give you uh, extra decks. Uh, darn. All right. Yeah, you're you're sitting here like things. jacking on. Even the both of you are are on this thing, and it's just not budging, unfortunately. Um, all right, Zorn, you are in the ship towards the bottom. Of... Oh, did did anyone move? Because my my thing's still up this round. Oh, nice. Uh... Nobody's moved. Okay. So towards the bottom, you've got this Irish shut door um, that looks a whole lot like the door that they're at. Otherwise, this room is empty. Uh, there's Lord, a couple of. We know there's bogies at the front of the ship. There's a couple of boxes that you saw escape when you opened this thing, like small to medium-sized boxes left when you opened this door. But um, otherwise, you're in this room. You own the room. It's all yours. I just strike the door and open it very easily. You uh, you go to the door and you open it with what? <laughs> <laughs> mechanics, maybe. <laughs> Give me a mechanics roll if you want to force this door open. All right, cool. Yeah, you sit here and you basically spend the entire round and you get this iris to start slowly force its way open. You get it open just enough that you could like um uh like birth your way through this thing, like like and force your you. way out out of this hole. You can either stay here and keep working at it to get it all the way open so you can walk through or or call it good and, you know, peek through the progress you've already made. Your call. Yeah, I'll call it good. Okay. Um, so you peek. Mm-hmm. You check, are you checking the thing? Okay, cool. So you see a little hallway like this. You've got two irises left and right, and you've got three obvious equipment lockers right in front of you. Okay. So I'm through the door? Well, uh, yeah, yeah. If you, you crawl through like a baby. Um, you, uh, you, in, his, you, in my big old armor suit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's that's the thing is like you did all that effort and it got the iris just big enough for your big old armor suit to get through. Not even big enough for you to walk through. Um, so when I when I squeeze through it, does it like shut back? No. No. It, it stays in the pride open position. Uh, so all of this is vacuum where you're at right now. If you wanted to shut the door, you'd have to release that mechanical thing, but you're on the wrong side to do that. Uh, you could mechanically force it shut on this side if you wanted to seal that door again. But right. right, but right now, That's every it. everything is vacuum from from you to you to space. All right, uh, Benheim focuses on keeping you guys close together. Rose, are you back? Okay, cool. Uh, Rose, I presume you want to try and bust your way through this door again, yeah? Third attempt, third time's the charm. I mean, I could try turning the porn off. I mean, but mm-hmm. either one, the door open, or I could. I already turned it off. You told me to. <laughs> Ha uh, Um, that was his daughter. Um, was taught that was. I'm gonna try and open the door, David. Thank you. Please do that. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so fucking out of it. <laughs> it's okay. It's all good. 
It's all good. Hey, big money, big money. All right, cool. So, yep. Please do not shoot the doors open. Yep, so <laughs> you open this door, and all of this is revealed to you, Dismond and Rich. So you've got a small hallway and two uh, irised shut doors. And you've got you've got atmosphere the whole way through, um, and these halls are now that you're on the ship proper, um, you know the floors are uh, what's called spalted. So actually, floors, walls, and ceiling are all spalted, um, which means that the the materials are uh, are ferrous. So your boots work, but they're actually they actually kind of give a little bit. And the idea is, if you are caught in this hallway when there's a sudden ship movement, you might not die. Right, because you'll get thrown against the wall, and maybe the wall will absorb some of the impact. So this ship boat is this police boat is worth a little bit more militarily. So it's got some military yeah. improvements like the spalting. Um, so you cool. guys can see into that. Um, all right, that was Rose Jay's my girl. All right, I'm gonna have to. Um, you know, I kind of had this thought while we were trying the door that God, what if there was a key in one of the closets? Here on the other side of me, mm. those equipment, you know, the ones right uh, here, look, right here. Yep. So I'm going to open these bad boys up. I want to see what's in there. All right. So um, how do you want to open them? I mean, they're not like, they're locked kind of like everything else. Um, so you could mechanically force it. You could uh, force it with like electronics or computers. Um, okay. So if they're that difficult, I'm trying the iris again. Okay. Well, this this iris is is wide open. So which iris? So you oh, you oh, own oh, this hallway. Oh, I'm sorry, you... I got a little bit distracted because I had someone come home. Okay, is my door open? Yeah, your door yeah. is wide open. You've got this oh, whole fucking hallway. Oh, I'm right down here. All right, cool. Yep, another iris shut door. Okay, we're we're strength checking that baby. All right, do it, baby. God, come on, come on. You you dice gods have been so mean to me. Everybody, everybody's show, sending me super love from the chat. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a big roll because it's 2d6 minus 3, right? Yes. So it could be a 9. Could be. It could be what you it need. It could be a 9. This could, you know, it's like one of those lotto tickets you haven't scratched yet. It could be a million dollars. Do Boop. it. It's an 8. So I don't, oh, I have a 5. Shit. Yeah. Rough, I dude. I tried. Yep. I tried, team. Yeah, I you're tried. there. You, you're, you're trying to force this door, and it's just not coming. I'm sorry, man. All right. Um, top of the round, Dismond. You own this hallway. Okay. Um, so I know that there's somebody at the front and the back of the ship. Yep. And you, so know, there, and like you, know, there's, you know there's three or so people here in the middle of the boat. Okay. So over the comms to, to Zorn, I'm going to say, get to engineering. And like, you know, try to guide him towards the back of the ship with the vacuum. <laughs> Instead of towards the front of the ship where you are. Right, right. <laughs> awesome. Uh, and then I guess I'm going to, you know, push Jays out of the way. And cool. Yeah, you, you, get, you, you guys are working this door. Uh, go ahead and give me a... I have a, a decent, you know, I have decent strength. It's got to work one of these times. Yeah, it's going it's, to, one of these days, it's going to work. Big roll, big roll, big roll. Okay, here we go again. I believe in you. Hey! It's a nine. There you go, and you actually have mechanic skills, so you don't have yeah. big minuses. So cool. That's true. Yeah, you you bust this sucker open, and um uh, so this is kind of like the way Zorn did it. I'm gonna give you the iris enough that you can crawl your way through, or you can spend another round getting it so you can walk through. Mm -hmm. Pull through. All right. Yeah, I'm just I'm just diving through. All right, cool. So you get it so that you can walk or not walk. I totally walk kick him in the ass as he's halfway through to get him through. Sweet. Excellent. So you, Disman, are standing right here. You can see there's a number of doors, like um, like room doors. You know, not mm -hmm. full iris airlock level doors, just doors. Yeah. Um, they probably do protect against vacuum, but they're not super hard to get through, like a like an airlock. Um, right. and then you've got an iris door at this end, you've got an iris door at this end, and you've got obviously a common area, you know, with a video yeah. wall and, you know, games and all that kind of stuff just sitting here. Um, is there anything playing on the video wall? Uh, no, nothing is on the video wall. Okay, good. 
Yeah, I'm just trying to make sure that wasn't like a source of our issues. You know what? You know what? There's a there's a paused game of Super Super Mario Robo Super Mario Rally. You know, uh, 2007. You wanted to say Super Robo Rally. I did want to so say bad. Super Robo Rally, but that didn't make sense. So it's Super Mario. You know, Super Mario Kart 5001 uh, is paused. Right. Currently in the middle of a race. Um, do you have recon? I do. All right. So just because you have recon, I'll give it to you. There are. There are six racers mm-hmm. paused on this game. Cool. All right. We've killed four. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. One of them is atomized. Oh yeah. <laughs> he's he's still glowing particles in space right now. Ooh, yeah, it was. I like the way you. It guys was four we that. took out. Right. Yeah. So you you obliterated one with with two a, inside, with the big two gun. outside. Yep. Two inside, two outside. That's right. Cool. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna head for the if I can the airlock door at the front. Okay. Yeah. 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 What I assume yeah. to be the bridge. Yeah. You you walk there. That's fine. Um. Mm-hmm. All right. Good and stuff. And I'll I'll let Jay's know that there are people down that other hallway that we passed up. Okay. That other airlock door. Down here, you say there's people or or. Uh, no, no. Down the in the middle, like this, in the middle of the ship. This area. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Whatever that area is. Okay. Perfect. All right, um, Zorn. All right, so you muted. The, yeah, I was trying to get to the page to unmute myself. Um, so I guess I'll go toward sit over the comms to go to the back. Of the- yeah, towards engineering, which presumably is this way. Okay, so I'll go out that door. Okay. Yeah, this door is also airlock sealed. Um. Uh. Give me another. Uh. What is it? Mechanic to get Nothing to bust through this. You got this, Betty. Boom. All right. Cool. Awesome. Uh. So you uh. You're forcing this door open. As soon as the doors open, like this much. Not even. Not even enough. But this much. Uh, you can see in to the engineering area. You you give it a glance as this guy is standing right there with a <laughs> rifle. As soon as you get the door open enough at all for him to see you, there's bullets coming your way. Now, there's a huge door protecting you. Um, he's in a, just a simple vac suit that's drawn nice. up and, 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 uh, and, and uh, held shut. But he's going to try and shoot through your significant cover. Um, all right, he misses. So there's... I mean, bullets go even through the hole, but they don't hit you. Um, uh, and it's a, and it's, a, it's a laser rifle, so I shouldn't say bullets, but like... All, you know, hits all around the, uh, the door, and a couple of shots even make it through the opening you've made. But none of them strike you uh, as they, you know, go sailing and, and splattering against the walls around you. Um, but yeah, so there's a guy in there, <laughs> and he doesn't want you getting in there. <laughs> um, but uh, mm. but yeah, so you end this round with that door open enough for Zorn to crawl through if he wants to. Okay. Unless you want to no. stop. If 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 no, when no. he started shooting, he wants, if, if no, he wants to. Okay. All right. Yeah. So you get it open. So if you wanted to, you could force your way through just by crawling into a gunfire. These NPCs are like, what the F is wrong with these people? Yes. They're falling through open holes yes. and falling on the ground to attack us. Yes. Oh, man. This is good stuff. All right. Um, all right. That was Zorn. Benheim is piloting. Rose, you're back. So we're not stuck at a door anymore. We miss you, Boo. Correct. Um, I want primary is to see if I can get a schematic of the ship. Okay. Um, secondary is to get the noise turned off. Okay. Um, uh, you, in order to open all these doors, you have had to uh, do some significant breaching to their security. Um, so I'm going to say that turning off the music is probably a minor action at this point. So okay. go ahead and roll for that. Let's see if that one happens. And then uh, getting a schematic of the ship is going to be a, a major action. It's going to be your significant action. So here's the first one. 
Nice. <laughs> Music's off. Apparently, we really wanted that turned off. Guys. Yeah, the uh, the entertainment system has been shut down. <laughs> so uh, you guys notice oh. that the uh, Gamescom stops, turns off, <laughs> and the porn stops. Go ahead. Awesome. Yeah, I wanted to make sure that that got turned off in the middle of their game. Yep. Um, and Eddie. then the schematic. Eddie. Yeah, go ahead and roll for the schematic. We're out here petty in space. That's right. All right. Um, yeah, that, that is enough to get the schematic for the ship. So, um, can I patch that over to one of the guys? You can send that to their, um, to their terminals, but it would, it would take them time to pull up the terminal and look at them. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you can send it to all of them, but none of them have built in terminals like you do. So they can't just see it in their mind. No. No, none of them have the, that kind of cybernetic. I didn't cybernetic. pay for the upgrade. Yeah. I thought Desmond may have, so... Yep. Um, I don't have any, any Borgie stuff. I have something. I think it real hard, Desmond. Um, yeah. Uh, you, I'll you, still pass it to their terminals. Okay, you pass it to their terminals, but I will... Uh, just for the rest of your turn, you can verbally describe that this is the bridge up front, these are crew quarters, this section down here. This area right here in the middle of the ship is dedicated to um, prisoners. <gasps> oh, they got people we can save. And back okay. here and is engineering. Them as slaves later. <laughs> okay, so what I'll say... To... Uh, uh, last thing, real quick. The wings of this boat are the hydrogen fuel. Okay. Um, so I'm definitely letting Benheim know this as well. Um, Tell Ed not to shoot the wings. <laughs> <laughs> Thus to avoid a significant explosion. Yes. Um, so I tell them the layout as I see it, but I think these are slavers, guys. Uh, it looks like they have a, a imprisonment area. Awesome. What is this weird thing? Oh, that is uh, that is a uh, uh, description of the ship that I did not want you guys to see. Oh, okay. So that's not like a thing of uh, missiles. Yeah. No. Oh, so it this, reminded me of this, like an arm missile. This cool schematic I got uh, all came from uh, yet another traveler blog. This guy is like an architect or something, and in his spare time just makes up spaceship designs for traveler. And, I like uh, him even more now. And it's glorious. So I, I, I pulled all this from there. Uh, and asked him for permission. He said yes. Of course, you Link can use our stuff. Link in description below. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, so yeah, you understand the layout of the ship now. Um, cool. And and I did pass it to your guys' terminals. So you, if you need it at a moment's glance, it's on your arm. Awesome. 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 All right, Jay's. Uh, what do you want to do? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Capture prisoners I can sell into slavery or go to the bridge. I think that's a, a really moral difficult ambiguity. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, if you go to the brig to <clears throat> extract prisoners, I think your moral ambiguity level goes up one. It's less ambiguous at that point to just morally low. <laughs> Okay, I got to do this strength check again. I'm going to do a quick uh, check so I know this is the bridge, correct? Uh, yeah, up, up front over here is the bridge. You guys know okay, that. So I know that's what's up over there. So I come in, I do another strength check, because by God, in the name of all that's holy, I've got to roll a 12 at some point. Yep. Where are you strength checking? I mean, you remember playing Craps Day. There is, every 30 turns, the boxcars come up. Yeah. The double six yeah. happen. Yeah. Every 30 turns. So around at turn 25, we start placing a dollar on the double sixes. Just, just waiting. to see what's happening. Just waiting. That's not exactly how we play, but yes. <laughs> ah. Eight. That would be a five. Ah. Not enough. Yeah. All right, dude. Sorry, man. Uh, you try and force this door, but it's just tough, man. These airlocks, are, they're no joke. They're not, they're not meant for you to be uh, doing this yeah. joke. Um, I moved back. All right. Um, so uh, uh, these guys, the bad guys, get to go. Um, this dude over here had been holding his action, and that's when he sh decided to shoot. He's going to run up Zorn, and he's going to try and put that the barrel of his rifle through the hole and, and shoot at you. Well, I just give Zorn a handhold. 
<laughs> he shoots for shit, and then he backs up. Unless he's shooting at me down the hallway, and then yes. he me. <laughs> yes, and then he, he shoots for crap, rolled a freaking five, um, and uh, backs up. Uh, this guy on the bridge... Oh, um, Desmond, you you have uh, you have your sense up, right? You can see where he's at still. Uh, yeah, I think it lasts an extra round per level of the effect, and I think my effect was like a one, so it's probably gone by now. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Um, all right. Um, then yeah, you have no idea what he's doing, uh, Desmond. So, is a hundred kilograms of force enough to just, you know, tear that? emergency release lever a new one and just crack that door <laughs> wide open um are you are I'm you gonna use like your telekinesis on. to help you move the emergency lever kind of thing yeah dude yeah i would say that would push, give you push. Each, if nothing else it gives you a, a bonus on your mechanic strength check you each, know each side point is 100 kilograms of force and i got two for you if if i need it all right dude i'm but gonna I'm say i'm not talking i'm not talking like baby opening i'm talking like this thing <laughs> big open. big mama opening all right yeah yeah all right yeah enough With to me walk not through. in the way okay yeah actually because what's the range on that telekinesis power um it's it's uh, I think it's close, so it's not. It's not like I have to be touching it. It's, yeah, so you um, could you could be like over here. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah. You you back way up and you reach out with your with that. your with your mind voice. Yeah, so I can I can be up to um, like five and a half feet away without spinning points. I'm pretty sure. Okay, then uh, yeah. then uh, you can be here. Yeah, just like you know, I'm not going to be right in front of it to get totally pumped full of lead. Totally. Um, and you mind voice and uh, and uh, give me a roll on this sucker. Okay. Because you just have to roll to use the power, right? Yep. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And it's average. So, so <laughs> Jays, you've been fighting with this stupid thing, and then yeah, like I you know. see you see Dismond kind of take a step away, I know. and he and he does this like thing, and you see his face get all scrunched up, and his nose starts to bleed, and all of a sudden, this freaking like emergency rescue thing just starts pumping as this iris door just. Shook wide give open a, give a give a nice dramatic jays move and i look over <laughs> and go dude you're from stranger things <laughs> <laughs> and you see a little dude right here with a big old gun <laughs> and oh, he goes great. <laughs> look where i am folks this is not gonna be fun all of a sudden he rolls box guards not box guards but enough to hit you Jays, my friend. That's uh, a good in. Um, sixteen Thanks points of damage. Help. Okay, so how do I do this again? I'm in trouble. Endurance so, first. And yep. Then... So however much endurance. Do, do you... Okay, hold on. I have armor. I have armor. Oh, how much armor do you have? I'm down to four protection. All right, so, so four <laughs> off the top. <laughs> twelve Which left. Leaves twelve. Um, and then, <laughs> what's uh, uh, how much endurance do you have? I am um, my mod is eleven, and I'm at three. So that means. Oh, hold on. That's my injuries at six. So I have five left. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm at eleven. That leaves me how much? Was it 16 to begin with? It was 16 to begin with. So 12 minus 5 is 7. And now where? All right, so now you get to pick strength or dex. Oh, I, I'm going dex because I have 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I got 4 left on my deck. All right, which makes you at a minus 2 to all deck stuff. Okay, and my endurance is like a minus... <laughs> Two. Is it a minus two or minus one? Either way, you are very low on decks. You have four points left. Is that right? Yes. All right. Just so you know, if you lose those four points, you go unconscious. If you also lose all your strength, you're dead. Go big or go home. All right. Cool. Yeah. You are. You. You feel the blood draining from your body. You feel <laughs> lightheaded. You feel like you want to pass out. But you strung your three through, and you're not passed out just yet. You know what's keeping me up? Rage. P PBR nailed it. Power of friendship. Power of friendship. That's right. Rose, Benheim, love you guys.
Oh my god. All right, so that was Des. Zorn! All right, buddy. You've been forcing your way through this door. It's about big enough for you to crawl through if you want to crawl through. Uh, this guy tried to pull a quick one on you and shoot you through the hole. He missed entirely. Uh, what do you want to do? They miss everyone. Guys, I'm going to gauze rifle. You're going to gauze rifle through the hole? Yeah, well, he came running up to me, right? You said yeah, he came running up. He shot through the hole with his like little rifle because there wasn't yeah, there's a big enough hole for you to just, crawl through. And I'm then he shoot. and then he backed up. Oh, he won't get shot. I'll just stick my rifle through the hole and shoot back. All right, cool. Uh, you doing full auto? You doing um? What you doing? Uh, sure. Why not? All right, good stuff. Uh, you do full auto, my friend, and you can see more of this section of the ship. Little workshop there. A little jump drive behind him. Actually, you don't even I mean, know that it's a jump drive. You just can, see there's equipment can behind I still, him. Can I squeeze through the hole? And... Uh, yeah, you could squeeze through the hole and also uh, shoot him if you wanted to. All right, so I'll do that. That way I'm in the room. All right, you squeeze through the hole. Now, I think that with these big Gauss rifles, uh, whenever you are in personal range, it's like a minus two to use them. Uh, minus three. Minus three to use them. There you go. Oh, thanks for bringing that up, rules lawyer. Just, okay, well then I'll, I'll just let's slash at him. With the just looking at it. With your big vibro. Yeah, and this guy's just in a jumpsuit. Like, he's just in a vac suit. He's not in, like, combat gear. Uh, hmm. So give me a... Uh, now that you're in here, and you're able to see around a little bit more. I give him the... Uh, can the... The Matumbo, like, finger wag for what he did. <laughs> You're not going to like what happens next. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Sweet. Sweet. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he crumples to, uh, to the floor. He's, uh, he's, yes. uh, you, you cut into him deep, and you know you hit like important bits, and he just kind of like, like, like kind of staggers back and, and slumps against the ground. Oh, I was gonna say I, I step on his. You step on him. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. You finish getting into this room, and you're like on his body is like blood, like like a sponge, just <laughs> on the way out. As the vac suit tries to seal, it tries to reseal on him, but there's just a lot of blood uh, going. And I, I, I over the comms. That's one for me. What is this, Lord of the Rings? We keep in count now? Yes. That's, what it is. That's exactly what it is. One, awesome. one Zorna nation down. Uh, and you can see the rest of engineering. You own engineering, my friend. Don't at me. <laughs> All right. Don't at Zor. Don't I was at Zor. Like, what does that even mean? Yes. <laughs> Social media, I'm what? Um, I'm ben... straight chilling. <laughs> he Instagrams a picture of him on the guy. That's right. Um, I do. I pull. I do pull out one for him. Like, for the gram, I say. Yes, <laughs> over the guy's body of blood coming out. Yeah, like, do it for the do it for the gram. That goes in, that goes in the Zorn Cadets newsletter. Yes, the space the space gram. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right, um, Benheim does some cool stuff with piloting to try and keep you guys still connected. Rose. Okay, so they've gotten into one area of the ship that they need to get into. Yep. Right. Yep. Yeah. Shot at. Depending on how this ship is configured, you might be able to run the entire ship from from engineering. You might not, though. Uh, so it just depends on what controls are available at that station. A cool thing would be shutting the airlock and getting oxygen back in the rest of the ship. <laughs> that would be kind of nice. The that way cool Zorn doesn't try to come say, hey. in my body. I can't heal you anymore, though. That's oh. right. You've had max heals for the day, buddy. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah, let's try to pressurize the ship. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, you, uh, you work on getting this door shut. Uh, go ahead and give me a computer's check to get the seal shut and so that the air gets back out of the ship. All right. I like those eight. There we go. Yeah. Um, yeah, you've been through their ship enough at this point, uh, and you've been dealing mostly with uh, entry entry doors and all that kind of stuff. So you find your way to the main hangar um, lift, and um, the, the problem with it is that it's mechanically forced open. 
So it has to be mechanically released to, to close again. So the computer totally oh. wants to close it, and the actuators want it to close. But you've, you've used the emergency opening thing. It's like a jack. Somebody has to get the jack out of the way for the thing to close. I relay that, hmm. relay that to Desmond. Okay. Okay. Cool. I can't do anything about that from here. I know, but... That's, I, a, that's a Zorn job. Yeah. <laughs> um, Zorn. Zorn. But you're like the leader on the ground. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So. Um, all right, Jays. You've got this guy. He's got a big big gun. He was shooting at you, and he's through a big open door. Okay, that means I'm shooting him again, or okay. I'm shooting at him. I pull out my laser pistol, Okay. and let's roll. So, Jays, what's your dex right now? It's a oh. negative two. Okay. Can you shoot? I thought my laser pistol was a strength-based characteristic shooting is dex. dex super dex always minus dex. two okay stand to the side desmond i'm shooting <laughs> i'm i'm way <laughs> over there I'm way over there yeah he's like mm, i'm not getting away from this you ready you re the, the 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 man these dice gods have got to be good to me one time just one time dice gods one time yeah how's this nope seven? nope damn it nope but a goes, 13 was so beautiful. Splashes on the controls behind him. You see a screen go a little fuzzy. Um, yeah, dude, sorry. Oh, there was a lot of damage, too. Holy smokes. Okay, does that, like, take all my action, or can I run and jump this guy? Uh, you can't take... That was your significant action. You have a, oh, okay. a minor action. So you could move, but you couldn't, like, engage with him. You could, you could move up to him and be like, ah! <laughs> but you couldn't, like... Put hands on him. Mm, this is a tough decision. Desmond's behind me. I know he's up next. Well, will maybe yeah. in the way mess with Desmond, or will it help him? You don't know. You have to make the decision right now. No, no discussions. This is six second rounds. There's not like strat time. One, two, three, four, five, six. You've already shot, four. dude. You've no, done. I'm on him. I'm on him. All right. I go on him. Guns out. I'm going at him straight forward like a crazy banshee. Spider monkey style. Awesome. Love it. Spider monkey, baby. Awesome. Yeah, you charge him. On his turn, he... Uh, I'm personal now. He gets a negative because I'm so close. He backs into the bridge. He uses his movement to back away from you. Oh. To like here. And he tries Almost to shoot like you again. Smart and shit. It's like they know, it's like they have brains. It's so weird. <laughs> Crazy. Oh my god, nine what? on the die. Alright, he hits you. Oh, this Rip big J. gun spins up and uh Rip. F for respects, my friends. Twelve damage, my friend. May need F for respects. Okay, so my 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 back suit takes three. Mm hmm So that leaves nine. Uh-huh. And I subtract yeah, nine at least five out of strength. the five I have left, and I fall unconscious. How much goes out of your strength? Uh, you, my you, strength you, had, you had five decks left? Uh, no, I had five strength left. But you, you took it out of your decks. How much decks did you have left? Oh, none. Oh, I had no. no decks left. I thought you had four decks left at the end of last turn. Did I really? Yeah. Oh, okay, then I did us. that wrong. Okay, I did that wrong. Oh, but, so, but, but, but still, I just did nine damage to you. You had five strength and four dex. dex. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> so I am completely passed out at this moment. No, I don't think it's just passed out, If all three out, are down, you're dead. <laughs> this, th yeah, uh, Jays, you, you slump back through this door, and your heart stops. No. Do I see that? Um, I'm going to say that Jay's vac suit probably has some level of telemetry, and you know that she's in cardiac arrest. No! No! I mean, it, I have, is, it is exactly oh! enough. It was on the money. Oh. I have questions. Okay. Um, so uh, as, a, as a doc, you will, you will know that you have... You, you can save the person... But every round where she's dead is potentially more brain damage. 
Right. So I have an out of character question. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, go ahead then. <laughs> kiss of life, our squeak, really. Um, <laughs> uh, can I get through that airlock? Am I in? I mean, you're in a vac suit. You're in a vac suit. All of you are in vac suits. Right? And and okay, and, and I... to get so to get from your ship to their ship and to them, it's a lot of movement. And you guys okay. have not really been checking on the health of the umbilical cord. So theoretically, you can get to him. You might not be able to get can, to him this round. Can I suggest that that is something that Benheim has been monitoring? Since? Yeah, yeah, Benheim has, but you have not. So, uh, right. so Benheim knows the situation of everything. Um, he has been keeping you guys pretty close, but he has not mm -hmm. been focusing on getting the uh, the uh, uh, the umbilical like all lined up and super super smooth. So it's it's probably torn up by now, um, but the two ships are very close to one another. Cool. Okay. Um, I, I guess I'll wait till it's my turn. Okay. Before I. Speak. All right. All right. Uh, so <laughs> that was those guys. Disman, you have a uh, potentially a dead friend in front of you, and a, a bad guy with a big gun on the other side of that door. Right. Um, fun. So, how much of a dex boost do I have right now? I'm gonna say, without looking at the drugs, I'm gonna say you have a uh, a plus two mod. To your decks. Ooh, that's pretty good though. It is. Does that stack with the plus two I already have? From, yeah. Or wait, no, I have a plus one from having a nine, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so it'd be so a plus that's three a plus effect. Three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what range would it be considered to fire from the door? From the door to that person is considered close because you've got close. five, ten, and then you're at the person. So it's a minus one, but I have a plus. Like a lot, actually, because yeah. I have I have gun combat and everything. I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see, gun combat, dexterity. Yeah, I have a one. I'm pretty. No, wait. Yeah, slug rifle. I have a one. Okay. But energy pistol, I have a two. And then I would have no negatives. Shoot him. Well, an energy gonna, pistol. Gonna... Uh, energy pistol. The close is at a zero instead of at a negative one. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pull the sidearm and just kind of lean in and fire into the. So you're gonna stand up. here and lean oh around the corner. Body. Lean yeah, around the corner. Try to, and fire try to the keep guy. a little bit of cover. Bit of cover. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I'll give you a co cover bonus there. So yeah, you you peek around this thing, squeeze off. Uh, whatever is your is your pistol auto or is it a single shot? Uh, what are you doing laser here? Laser pistol. I think it's single shot. Okay. Do you want to take uh, two shots at a minus one uh, DM? Oh wait. Oh no! It's uh, if it's not an auto pistol, you can take a second shot for a minus two DM. My apologies. I have a magazine of like one hundred, so I'm not right. sure what that necessarily means. If your if your pistol has an auto rating, the pistol you can just turn it to auto and it'll brrr, a lot. But if it doesn't, down. then then it then you can do a fire and a second fire this same turn, but at a minus for both shots. Okay. Does that make sense? So if you do the if the pistol has auto and you use auto, then it's not at a negative. But if it doesn't have auto, you're basically doing two single shots, but you're doing it real fast. So it's at a minus. Is he wearing any armor? Or is he just... Back suit. Back suit. Ooh, okay. Uh, I'll go for it. So that's a minus two, but I have a plus two. So I'll just roll it like my skill says. Yep. Yep. Oh. I can hear you now. my connection. Okay, yeah. So it, it, that basically just cancels out the drugs. Pretty much, yeah. Your drugs basically give you a free two shots instead of a instead okay. of a single. Yeah, so I'll just roll. Roll twice. Two then. So first one. Ooh. Oh no. no. One. Another monitor. Uh, yeah. Second one oh, hits. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay, so second Three one hits. Points of damage. Does a bunch of damage to this guy who's just wearing a vac suit. Um, uh, you see that round burn into his torso, into his like uh, just under the bottom of his rib cage, kind of near where his heart is, mm -hmm. and you see him go. Ah! I surrender. I yell, I'll see him in hell, shoot him again. You're dead. You yell nothing. <laughs> you yeah, you spasm you on the floor like a person who's dying. <laughs> like there's nothing. Art. Damn it. <laughs> there's nothing for you, my friend. I'm sorry. Um, if I hear him yell, I surrender, I'll just be like, gun on the ground. All right, cool. Yeah, he, he lets go of it and it like drifts and then falls. Well, you obviously don't work for the Dallas Police Department. You would shoot him. 
Oh, rich, oh. rich. Zorn, what do you do? <laughs> I, I might have another warning shot waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Zorn over the communication. Take no prisoners. Nobody needs. Let there no be no witnesses. Awesome. Uh, Zorn airlock, please. Um, <laughs> uh, so actually, real quick, Benheim with his admin, he he pipes up over comms. Roll his admin. Yeah, he says, <clears throat> if that guy is the captain, he could go to jail instead of losing his ship if he's alive. If he's dead, then there's nobody who could own that ship. And then it becomes our salvage. By I rules of the think. Imperium. I just... There's also hostages on the ship who are probably the previous owners. So, Who knows so who they are? I don't know. We have yet to look up the manifest of who's in the, uh, who's in the right. hold. I got <laughs> other things to do. <laughs> so from, from in here, in engineering, Yep. Can I shut the outside door and then unlock all the inside door? So um, to release the uh, to release the thing, you'd have to at least go back into the hangar to release that mechanical winch that you had been using to open the thing. But you could get back to it and release it this round and have the thing shut, and it would just automatically be filled with air. So if you want to end up in this room. Uh, I, I can say you, you spend your turn basically getting back there and releasing that mechanical uh, 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 prying that you had done. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, you're back in there. Awesome. Thanks guys um, for following. Am I, in, am I in there? Or... Yeah, you have to get all the way in there to release that mechanical because uh, what you've been doing is forcing the door open mechanically and you have to release that ratchet. Uh, and the only way you can do it is by putting your hands on it. Oh, I guess you could release... I'm sorry. You could release uh, this door here instead. And, in, and then just the hangar is full of, is full of vacuum. Yeah, yeah, that's... Yeah, okay. that's what okay, cool. Yeah, you get to here and you release this door and uh, the, the, this hallway begins to fill up with air again. Okay. Awesome blossom. Benheim does stuff. Rose, what do you want to do? I'm going to go try and save Jay's. All right. You Thank leave you. your ship. Um, give me a zero G or an athletics or something to bridge the gap between these two moving spaceships. And do not mess this roll up. Or you will be in space forever. For an extended period of time, yes. <laughs> and space is bad. Until one of these two ships swings around and picks you up. <laughs> I don't have a skill... That would work. Oh no! <laughs> how about we give her the walk skill? <laughs> That's not how it works, buddy. <laughs> you can walk uh, around the spaceship all you like, but when you're in space, it's totally different because um, you're you're not being benefited by whatever magical grav plating is on the floor, keeping you from feeling the herky jerky of the boats. Um, uh, so you could either do a you could do a, a basically a leap of faith with your decks only at a minus three to make contact with this door, unless you have something to assist you, like a grav belt or something else besides just your raw skills. She's consulting notes. Yes, that is, that is. This is the time to do that because to lose time. two characters in this moment would suck. Remember when you were jumping over the pit during my D and D campaign? <laughs> How did that work out for both your characters? <laughs> this, yeah, this this is the pit of poison uh, between these the two parts. Jump the pit. You have a kinship to Jay's, and Jay's. You didn't have to ask consent. And Jace just said, shoot me with drugs. I like John's uh, suggestion in the chat to make the guy on the bridge uh, make this guy a slave. He will be. I give Benheim the what the risks are. I tell Benheim what the risks are with me trying to go over and get Jays. And I want Benheim as our sort of pseudo captain to tell me what he wants me to do. Oh, interesting. Nice. I like it. Um, dang. 
Barry, are you watching the chat? <laughs> Would you tell this I character could call to risk, him. risk her life? I could call him and ask. Call, him. call um, a friend. Phone a friend. Let's see here. I think... Put him on speaker. Gosh, Benheim, I mean, he's he's pseudo-captain, but he's kind of hands-off on a lot of things. This is a can tough one for him? me. Yeah, can you can text him? him or call him and be like, hey, uh, do I risk my character's life right now to save Jay's? And, and just see what he says. For, I'm going to mute for half a second. Okay. okay. Bye, everybody. I know he's on air. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I feel like we're watching. Yeah, this uh, this is a lot like a Star here. Wars when it's like, uh, when it's like uh, I don't want to know the odds. It's like the odds are 5 million and 6 to 1. It's like, I didn't want to know the odds. <laughs> <laughs> There's merch in the store. <laughs> If yeah. You check right now. They're t-shirts. By the way, um, <laughs> Zorn like... Cadet shirts are on sale at Teespring. Link in description. Oh, yeah. it's not Teespring. What is it? Yeah, it's Teespring. Um, it and it's and, Teespring. And, and it's down. It's down in the uh, the little widgets below the uh, stream. Yeah. Oh, Doggo! I see Doggo. Yep, yep. Tron just came in from the outside. Tron, I love it. Yeah, here, uh, dog stream for a second. We got Tron on his little bed over there. I might be making people sick. We got Maggie playing down over and there. Folks, those dogs have calmed down about one billion percent from when I first met them. Oh yeah. We would go over and game and those dogs were all in everything. They have calmed down so much. Yes. Yes. He did not answer, so it's your call. <laughs> I'm, is this right. open over comms? Because Dismond also has an opinion. Yes, this would be okay. open over comms. So, yes. Just yeah. I'll remember, say bring over. Stay on the damn ship. <laughs> bring a bag of candy, because when I get healed, I'll want some candy. If All right, Desmond's suggestion is to stay on the ship. Yep. Zorn, what do you say? Oh. Is Zorn a leave no man behind type guy? Zorn is also <clears throat> not someone who's I'm going to take their... <laughs> Mm, if it's over open comms. <laughs> okay. And you never leave a man behind. Yeah. All right. It's uh, you, my, you, my you've... entire my entire squad when I was in the army murdered or was like slaughtered, and I mean I just can't have that happen. There you go. There you go. I can't, I can't have that happen again. Get Jays. I right. have something I need to finish. So. What's uh, Benheim's call? So. Uh, Benheim. All right. Benheim not, tells you. Whatever. Benheim tells you, go grab one of the grav bikes and take the grav bike over to that other ship. Okay. Um, do you have pilot or drive? Do you have any of those things? Sweet. I inform him that I right. cannot fly that ship. Well, I mean, you can do it at negative three, just like jumping across. But at the very least, you'd be on a grav bike. Instead of just floating in space, if it didn't go well, so how long? How long until he dies? Well, he's dead. Dead or she dead? Oh, well, it's 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 a question of does she get to him if, fast enough so that she, maybe he can be brought back from the dead? But right now, his start his heart has stopped. If she dies, she dies. <laughs> Thank you, Zorn. God, this is such a cutthroat group. All right. Um, uh, so, so I tell Ben the, the risk is too great, and you guys would lose your doctor should anything bad happen. That's why. That's why Desmond's like, stay on the damn ship. Well, Benheim's like, without without Jay's our crack pilot, how are we gonna get the fuel fuck. to complete our stuff? Fuck. Fuck. Fine. I take the grab bike. Sweet. You go grab the grab bike. Give me a drive grab. <laughs> Plus, whatever you want. I don't care what the stat is at this point because it's gonna be at a minus three, <laughs> no matter this what. This reminds it is. me the first time I. No, 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 no. It's not computers. It's it's the skill at whatever attribute, dex, um, education, even. You know, like I'm okay with you spending a second figuring out how to use this bike. Oh yeah, and I will. Um, okay. <laughs> sure. So, two d six minus one minus two. Uh, what is your? Do you have My a plus one? My education is one. Okay, yeah. So it's a two d six minus two. Yep. You need an eight or better. Jay's, I hope you're so fucking worth this. You better save me, girl. Yes. No! Oh, wait, Boosh! wait, Boom, minus. Roger, roger, roger. Boom. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so it was right? a. That's what you told me. I thought it was a minus two, but either way, you got oh, your eight. Is. You got your eight. 
And uh, Rose, you are you are aboard the vessel um, now. So, uh, what was this called again? This boat was called the Tale of Ryoko, right? Um, sure. That's what the ship is registered as. Now that you're walking through here and not in like full combat mode, you see stenciled across the uh, the frame of the door. Uh, it says it says um, Arsqueef's yacht. Fuck off! <laughs> oh no! Right across the door, just oh, Arsqueef's no. yacht. Fuck off! <laughs> you're no, the only one who saw are. that because you were calm enough going through this little area. <laughs> um, Arsqueef, so, what have you done? So you um you That's get about, to, that, that tracks. <laughs> yeah, you, you get to uh, you get to hear. Um, and uh so that's that's the end of your turn after all of that <laughs> debate and hand wringing and figure out how to use a grab bike um i uh, let desmond know where i am <laughs> okay awesome and that i'm coming awesome awesome blossom okay um after rose jay's is jay's turn jay's you spasm um oh! The bad guys do stuff. Well, this guy is dead. Leave him. And What's the other guy doing with his gun on the ground? This other guy uh, <laughs> on the ground uh, with his gun on the ground says, um, uh, 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 Don't shoot, don't shoot. We can work something out. Okay. Is it my turn? Oh, uh, what do you say to him? It, it will be I'll, your turn right after his. I'll say, who's in the brig? Uh, you know... Just some, just some, just some assets, you know. Just some, just some, some people that we're holding on to for a guy. It's a lot of talking around the question for somebody with a laser pistol in their face. You know. <laughs> Look at Desmond getting Get all. Get it, Desmond. Just all right, all right, all right, all right. Fine, 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 fine. It's a cop. It's one cop. All right. Some, some nobleman's son. All right, and and a guy I've been told to hold on to. Thanks, and I'll shoot him. <laughs> yes. All right. Give me a. Well, it's gonna just be an one easy. Shot. It's gonna be easy shots, but just roll it. Desmond yeah. shot first. Absolutely. Yes. Is the new T-shirt. <laughs> there was never any. There. There was no question about that ever. Uh, so this is with the plus two, right? Because I'm only shooting once. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so cool. if you if you hadn't have shot him, I was gonna chainsaw him in the face yeah. and then just look look at you and say. Imperium rule. <laughs> Did that hit? Imperium rule. Oh yeah, yeah, that that certainly hits. Okay, cool. Yeah, you you level the pistol right through the noodle uh, as as he kind of flops back and dies. Um, and uh, yeah, you uh... overcomes. I say ship's clear. Bye bye, Arsqueef. Um, <laughs> you guys, Aww. you guys are good. You've killed everyone. Um, it's next totally round, rich. Rose. Rose, you get to Jay's. Give me okay. your best medic plus education, <laughs> and it's gotta be fucking good. Sorry, it's gonna, it's gotta be good. Why are you apologizing cussing about cussing to me? <laughs> okay, so. I have a five, and hopefully we'll roll correctly. So here we go. Oh man! All right. Well, you stopped. Enough. You stopped. You stopped. Boom! You stopped whatever bleeding. You need to get him to your med bay to see if you can salvage this person. Drive me over. Zorn. I call for Zorn. Okay. Because I need Zorn's help to get back. Get get rich. Or yeah, get Jay's back over there. Dismond, I'm going to say that since you're in the bridge, you can psh, pop, unlock all the yeah. doors. Doors okay. open. Except uh, for the one that goes to that this airlock one. that I think yep. is still slightly yep. open. Well, they're all unlocked. Now people can pass through yeah. them freely. They're not open. Cool. They're just unlocked. Um, okay. Um, so. so any skills to use the ship. Yeah, do you have pilots or anything? I think I have one of those things. Do you have... Um, do you have engineering? Do you have anything to help you stop this ship? I have flyer. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you uh, could pilot the grav bike. Computers. Pilot the grav bike. Uh, recon sensors. Oh, 
nope, nope, nope. None of those things help you. I mean, the best you can do right now is pilot that grav bike. Yeah. Um, uh, do I have to touch any of the ship's controls? I mean, the ship is flying in a set course. It has some sort of programmed flight path, uh, okay. and, it, and it will execute that flight path until it instructed not to. But you don't any, have the like... skills to turn that off. Oh, okay. I mean, you could You're kind doing... of look at the console and be like, um, that button, and yeah. tr try. <laughs> no, the person who would know dangerous. is currently a spasming mess on the floor. Fair. But when aren't they? Indeed, indeed. Alive um, or dead. So, um, uh, you guys have to act now. W what do you guys want to do? Benheim We're is in a position to maybe do something with that, isn't he? From our other. He ship? so Benheim is currently flying your other ship, trying to keep it close to this ship as it does whatever its fight plus flight path is. Benheim doesn't know what its fight flight path is, so he's just trying to keep up with it. While Could this I use ship computers does its thing. to try to like patch the two together, you yes, or like you, give him access. Yes, so you could spend this round giving him some kind of remote access, remote remote yeah. stuff. Okay, that's what I'm gonna go for. Okay, I don't cool. know if that worked. All right, what it? Oh, oh an eight. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, you sit there now. The 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 computers are not meant for you, uh, so right. you spend this round really gaining access. That's fair. There's okay. nobody. All right. So what else have I got to do? So uh, Zorn and Rose, you guys, what do you want to do this round? Well, did Zorn listen to my request? I do not know. But I was heading up towards the bridge. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you're up there. I, uh, I need to carry Jace. And I'm like, oh no, Jace. I mean, Dor she's not. Dor she's not a. She's not a board member, so I guess it's that big of a. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot that Zorn doesn't like Jays. <laughs> Zorn, could you? I need you to carry Jays so we can get her back to my med bay. Mm -hmm. Please, I please. Just, I just scoop down with my big robot, or whatever, and just hey, throw Zorn, it Zorn, awesome. if you do it carefully, I'll buy one of your shirts. <laughs> well, it's not so much that you buy a. Shirt. I'll buy a membership. A member, <laughs> and then there's like a monthly charge. Or you okay, can yeah, buy yeah, an yep, annual. Yep, yep, yep. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Um, Let's go. Let's go. Come on. So, but then you get your choice. Or maybe like I'm like pushing charge. him. I need to talk to Lonnie. To I'm like pushing him. Charge. Towards... And I'm slowly like walking towards the wall with Jason. Pushing yeah, yeah, yeah. him. So I'm thinking like, you think maybe the unitard is the way to go? I mean. I'm also Lonnie not listening to him. <laughs> I'm trying to work on Jay's. All right, uh, give me another medical roll on Jay's while you're while you're walking. Um, <laughs> Thirteen. Good, 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 good. Yep. Um, so you're checking Jay's for brain swelling and all the telltale signs of of irrecoverability. Um, <sighs> you're 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 putting cold packs all over this body to try and mm -hmm. to try and keep it in a stasis of whatever state it's in right now. To, so there's some form of J, uh, of J's left over. Stop the, can your drugs help? All the drugs, David. <laughs> all the drugs. <laughs> just got hypo sticking into her. Yes. Yeah. I mean, you're doing everything you can to keep, uh, you've got a little, um, uh, cardiac thing, keeping the, keeping the chest compressing so that there's now blood pumping, um, and you've, squirting you've, out of their body because well, I mean, you—that you, was the first thing you did was made it so that wasn't going to happen anymore. Then you got it pumping. Uh, you're getting you're getting cold packs to keep it sustained. You know, cold packs around the brain. You've got intubation, so you're forcing air into the lungs. I mean, you're you're doing what you can to keep this corpse viable, um, and you're doing the right roles to do this. You know, like okay. twelve and thirteen. Those are the kinds of numbers you need, um, but. It's just tough. <laughs> it's, 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 touch and go. Um, all right, you guys are at this door. Dismond, I'm going to say you're still working on the ship. Uh, go ahead and give okay. me another computer's roll. But you it's, three, yeah. you have an open airlock from your ship. There's another boat across the void. There's one grav bike that fits one of you and maybe a second person. That's it. Um, you know, like bicycle style where somebody's like on the back, right? <laughs> Like holding on, um, you've got the grav bike, you've got the three of you, and you've got this chasm 
between these two boats. How, how do you guys want to get across? Do you have out of character? Do you have any of those skills that I was that were told to me that I don't have? I have drive. So you could pro- you could uh, you could drive the grav bike. Um, I mean, I could just also just jump across. I mean. Sure. Jump across like Jay's body. <laughs> and I'll take the grab bike. She's not on the board of directors. I mean, I really don't see is she? No, she is. She's paid in. She's paid in. Jay's is the only no, one. No, Jay's is not oh, paid oh, in. Oh, Jay's, Jay's is not paid in. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, Zorn, you're going to jump across? No, I'm, I'm totally down for the two of you trying to jump this. All right. So, uh, Rose, you grab the grab bike. And, <laughs> oh, and Zorn <laughs> is going to jump across with your patient. Zorn, um, baby. If I lose Zorn and Jay through this, I see it as a win. Um, <laughs> Zorn, give me your roll. <laughs> oh my god! You guys are gonna be like TPK just on um just on like uh <laughs> player attitude. Uh, yeah, uh, Zorn, give me zero G or athletics or something uh plus strength or dex to get you across this chasm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you you leap across. Um, now, Zorn, you you leap across, but the balance isn't right because you know you've got you've got Jay's here with you, and it's you. And and as you leap, you do this twisty thing, right? Because your center of gravity is a little to your left, and you left as if it was front and center, and you do this twisty motion through space. You kind of have it, it called really cool. It looks it looks chaotic as fuck. Um, you have a you have a tough call to make. Um, you can either jettison Jays to right yourself and let you land on the ship, or you can hold on to Jays and hope that next round, as you start to pass your own ship, you can like finagle your way back to your ship. Oh, is the little tube thing not out anymore? That thing is shredded. Oh, I thought we were keeping close enough to move it on. Benheim was doing his best, but yeah. <laughs> Benheim's I, best was not good enough. Benheim, Benheim has a pilot of like one or zero. It's not, it's not uh, very high. I'll hold on to Jay's. Oh. All right. All right. You yeah, hold on to Jay's as you guys do this really perilous, like, like astronaut untethered in space, whoa, holding whoa, on to another thing. Whoa. Like you guys are. You guys are all right. You're, but you're good. You're good, uh, Heather. I'm also saying, get this on film. Don't somebody record this. <laughs> yeah, oh, you, you you glance you glance the turret and you see freaking Ed with his like camera, like whoa, <laughs> <laughs> just whoa, watching. Yeah, what's Liza Zone's crew doing? Are they not Are they not trying to help us a little bit? You guys have not told them to do anything. Ed is the only the same I, thing. Thought the, I thought the two guys were like on their way safe. to do something. They well, they were they were able to do stuff, but nobody's communicated dick to them other than Ed get in the turret. And Ed is oh, right thought, now in the turret going, Whoa I thought last time when we left off, like they were getting ready to come with us onto the other ship. I, but the, well, I, you guys had to leave. I was you mistaken. Did, you did not have enough time to wait on those guys. That is for sure. That's fair. Then That's may fair. I request that Benheim do that on his next turn? Sure. Get them engaged. Thank you. Get them to try and help. Something. Like, yep. Yeah. yeah. All right. Help them get people onto our ship. Please. Now, the other person that needs to make it to this other boat is Rose. Rose, give me your grav bike. <laughs> My two d six minus two. Yep. <laughs> Can you make it across to the other boat on your grav sure, bike? Sure, but I want to. I want to say this first. <laughs> Should oh. this go horribly wrong? Yes. Which I anticipate it will. Yes, it is right now going horribly wrong. <laughs> um. I would like it when and if this goes horribly wrong. I would like for the grav bike to hit them to push them, <laughs> propel them oh, closer. So you're not going to go to the other ship. You're going to use you and the grav bike to try and correct what's going on with them. If it fails, sure. <laughs> well, okay, so so actually, this is a good point. They are currently tumbling through the void emptiness of space. Obviously not currently headed towards the other ship. They're close to the other ship, but the angle is a little off. You can... But it looks really cool. It, it looks awesome. Cool. Yeah, you're doing, like, victory pose. Um, 
Okay. Okay. How about this then? So you, this you can go to your ship or you can, yeah, whatever. You, if you have a grav bike, you can go where you want to go. Here's what I want to try and do. Mm-hmm. On a successful roll, I want, I want to attempt to nudge them back to the ship. Mm-hmm. However, if that fails, my failure for that is I I want to go towards the ship. <laughs> so because no, my I mean, my goal world, they want us to go into the in- so my goal is to nudge them to the ship. So here's the thing, you can't say on a failure I want success. <laughs> Please. <laughs> what you can say is if you success like. if you if you at base level succeed, you get your eight. You're gonna end up on the ship. That's what I want. Please. If you get a good effect. So like, uh, you know, a plus one, plus two. I'm going to say that instead of going to the ship, you correct them and get them going towards the ship. But that doesn't put you on the ship. That just means that you're correcting for the the negative that Zorn had on his role. Okay. This, this, this is a this is a you can't like yeah it's, want, it's a tough call it's a tough call the thing. I know I know I'll, I'll I'll tell you this on like a plus four on the best possible result if you roll box cars I'm gonna say that not only do you correct them but you bring all of you onto the ship so on, if you roll a twelve I'll give it to you but otherwise Later, PA, you are man. either <laughs> on the boat off the boat or off the boat but they're now on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> <Is it> your... <laughs> all right wow so all of three of you are in space she nudges us into the fire no the she doesn't nudge you guys she leaves clearly doesn't have control of the bike and is just like between these two spaceships with this grav bike trying to correct it and keep from getting on <gasps> okay cool <clears throat> jay is you uh spasm uh Des, what do you want to do, buddy? As You're... usual. So if, if the computers are sorted... Uh, yeah, I'm going to say you've now given um, remote control to Benheim. Benheim hasn't taken control yet. He's not doing anything yet. But he now yeah. has the pathway to control the other ship. Cool. Yeah, I just want to get us stopped so that people have an easier... You know, like once... That, that was my goal with getting him control. So just get us in a... Yep. Good place to be jumping between ships. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I Might mean, that's part late. of the problem here is that is that these two ships are not in coordination, so leaping from one to the other is difficult. Um, if if that's all done, I went ahead and check on the prisoners. All right. You go into the <laughs> prisoner like... area. I will reveal all of this. Um. So in here, uh, these prison cells are all empty. You just go to this little security station. These are all empty. Three of these low berths are currently active, which means that there's three people on ice in cryostasis held in these low berths. Uh, And the guy said they had two people that were people they were supposed to be holding on to? One cop, one person that he was told to hold on to for a guy, and a nobleman's son. Okay. Uh, according uh... to the low births, all of them have power. All of them are functioning within per- normal parameters. The people inside should be alive. Okay. Uh, do I know which one's which? Yeah, you know uh, of, of all three which one is which. Uh, I'm going to wake the cop up. Okay. Awesome. You begin the process of waking up the cop. It takes about an hour. Um, oh, okay. Uh, to thaw. Oh, if it takes an hour, I'm just gonna hit all three of them. Just like okay. let's get that process started. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it's it's like a thawing process. You know, it takes time. Um, and there's a chance that yeah. that they might die. Uh, using low birth is really dangerous. Um, mm-hmm. it's like a one in uh one in twelve chance that they might die. <laughs> so, uh, we'll see. Um, well, on two d six. Right. You can only roll a two, so they're good. <laughs> oh, come on. You know what I mean. <laughs> like, somewhere between a tw- two and a 12. Uh, so if they roll a two, they die. But if they, uh, okay. if they roll anything else, they're fine. Okay. Um, cool. So, yeah, they should be alive. You'll find out in an hour. Because um, but... I'm imagining one of them can probably pilot a ship. Yeah. Yeah, probably. I'm going to so. bank on that. Probably like, Worst so. case scenario, we get somebody. With pilot, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. We're in space, for crying out loud. <laughs> yeah. Can you mute if you're typing, please? Um, okay. Um, guys, I kind of need to take a break. <laughs> no, let's, let's... I know we have three of you suspended in space. One or all of you may be dead. I don't know yet, um, but it's getting close to ten, and I like to take a two-hour break if that's all right. Um, two hour. You know, a break at the two-hour mark. Oh, okay. Numpty. <laughs> Two hour break. I gotta know if I live or not. I know. I'm crazy curious if you're gonna live. 
Um, all right, uh, folks, we're going to take a 10-minute break. Ten right. minutes. So we're going to be back okay. at 10.10 uh, 10 or 11.10 or whatever your time zone is. 10 past the hour, we're going to come back. <laughs> Bye, guys. We'll see you in a little bit. See y'all in just a second.
I'm still dead. I'm still dead. We are tumbling through space very dramatically. Oh, great. I don't have that. Oh, it's my role that determines whether or not they die? I just... I thought it was, like, hitting a button. I oh, hold a... on. Hold on. Can anybody hear us? Uh, chat just said they couldn't hear us. I'm sorry. They can hear me, but not you. Uh, there we go. Fixed it. Um, okay. So, everybody uh... in chat, I was saying I'm still dead. I know it's really important. Everybody wants to know what I have to say. So just FYI, I was commenting about I'm still dead. I'm still dead. They're trying to save me, and I hope they do very soon. So oh. just, okay, back to the team. There you go. There you go. Oh, sorry. It was me that was muted, not not the crew. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so. Um, so I was more going for like, a, I'm hitting a button. And that's right. Like auto. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you start. If that's the, not uh, the case, then I'm not one. touching it. Okay, okay, yeah. So you start the process, but it's a medical process. So you have to be like. Uh, uh on, on it so you you leave okay. them in in stasis you leave them in stasis so yeah i was i was under a different impression of yeah, that i, no I forgot that no everything worries. is super inconvenient in space yes yeah nothing is safe now you need you need skills to do anything here yeah <laughs> oh forgot what game i was playing <laughs> yeah Sorry. there's no automation here buddy this isn't like star trek it's only the year 5000 there's no no yeah actually there's um there's a lot of laws against ai against automation um that sort of thing because in one of the past <laughs> empires there was a big problem <laughs> with AIs, um, so the robots took our jobs. There's a lot of lot of things. Yeah, it's 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 all about employment. Nothing about life safety. Um, <laughs> they um, a lot of things are under automated here. Okay, okay. but either so, way, Disman, yeah, you command the ship. This is your boat. This is your ride. These low berths are all in good order. I'm the captain now. You are, <laughs> you are it. <laughs> um, let me look at my skills and see what I can do usefully on this ship. Yeah. Um, let's 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 handle you three out in space. This is where all the action's yeah. at. Um, so you three. I'm running around the ship. What is going on? Um, Zorn, <laughs> you have initiative. Um, you you've got Rose kind of out there, kind of not quite near you guys, spinning around in her her bike trying to get safe. Um, yeah, dude, you. You kind of try and whip, uh, whip Jays to to get you right it again, so you can head back towards your ship, and you're just not making progress. You're just now spinning. Um, is he also Nene? He is not Nene. He's just spinning. Um, Rose, I need you to do a grav bike check. Sure. Um, I am doing. Chat, I'm heading. I am heading to. One of the two ships, okay. whichever is easiest okay. and easiest to get me to. All right, roll, roll your stuff. <laughs> Damn it! I was really hoping you'd say okay. Nope. <laughs> now no. that I have all of you in the drink, you're staying in the drink until you can get yourself out. Damn it! Two d six minus. We're like just in the middle of nowhere, though, right? Yeah, you, yeah. More you guys less. had you guys were kind of sort of on your way to the uh, Imperial gas station. Mm -hmm. um, pff, no, you're you're still twisting around out here. Um, uh, it's getting dangerous. Uh, Benheim is slowing the two ships um, and getting them under coordinated control so that neither of them like slams into you guys and kills you guys. You know, he's keeping you guys in a safe space here. Um, but inertia is a weird thing. All of you are moving at the initial inertia of the spaceships. And as he starts to slow, you guys are starting to pass the ships. And he's like, oh, shit. So he speeds it back up. So you guys aren't passing the ships anymore. Um, you tell me a grav bike can't just stop. <laughs> it totally can. Yeah. She could just stop dead right here. Oh. Cool. If that was the... Yes. You don't want to do that. Oh, because then I can't start going again. Well, you, you could. The... But, but, no. but right now, you are drifting with everybody. If you okay. stop... They keep going, and okay. you're left behind. Okay. So yeah, the, the, this is <laughs> space sucks. Uh, space is frustrating. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um. So yeah, we just need some good skills here. Um. Now Benheim is going to work to get the ships to assist in some way to like 
gently catch you guys or make it easier for you to get on board, that kind of thing. So, so I'm going to... Yeah, well, this is what you guys have been dealing with. This last turn was your role and her role and Benheim's role to kind of control the two ships. Now, Benheim's going to try and assist both of you into getting onto the yacht. Uh, so let's make your rolls again. Um, Zorn, let so me... I'm, yeah, I had an idea. Since, you know, I've, I've failed two rolls, I'm starting to drift away. Can I use... Can I shoot my gauze rifle to, for, like, <laughs> Propulsion? Yes. 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 This has happened this. in every space movie ever. Yes. So, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> but but shooting shooting your gun is a whole lot like throwing Jays away. <laughs> it will do something. And there's a equal and opposite reaction. So it's gonna be your zero G roll, uh, and it'll be, you know, kind of questionable of whether or not you Get it just right so that your propulsion is getting you back towards the ship. So, um, Benheim rolls to the ship pilot to try and make it somewhat easier for you guys to get back to um, the Gucci main. And the two of you need to make your roll. So, uh, Zorn, do zero G, and Heather, do your graph bike. Okay. Yeah. Like <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey! All right, Zorin. Better. Yeah, you whip that gauze rifle around, and you do some controlled... Oh, <laughs> as you just, like, slowly bring you and Jay closer to the boat. And boom, at the end of this round, you've got a hand on the boat. Um, Rose, it's tough. You're like, oh, yeah, stop. Wait, no, go. Wait, no, uh, left, no, right. Um, this bike is just not treating you well <laughs> where did the dude with the grav belt end up oh uh his body was smeared against the ship and then left behind oh, damn. like many rounds ago he's way that would have a, that would have been a really cool thing to have him just been dumped into the airlock right <laughs> but yeah. that was not his trajectory <laughs> that is not the way this game works no he he was folded up against that ship smeared across the edge of it and then just stopped moving at some point when his boat when his grav belt was programmed to stop moving and he's just in space, way back there. Hey, Dave. Yes. I have some questions. Please. Um, can I use? Can I use my psychology skill mm. on myself to calm my shit down, so that I can take a moment, breathe, figure out what the fuck is going on? and re-roll and maybe not have my entire negative yes uh absolutely so you take a minute go through a breathing exercise to try and calm yourself give me a psychology roll psychology plus education zorn you're on the boat you are making your way to an airlock oh my god yeah you don't have like a plus 30 no, no. on psychology no have a plus oh. three. you're not in a negative two there to get rid of the negative two then that would have oh, been. Oh no, that's that's not the rule. Yeah, the one Wait, below what? it. There was no oh. negative two. I rolled a five. Oh. I got two ones. Oh no! Wow. All right, yeah, this is a terrifying moment for Rose. Rose has never been just in the void between two ships. This is probably <laughs> as close to abject terror that Rose has ever been in. So you're like, okay, let's go back to schooling. And it's like, fuck that. I'm in space and I'm going to die. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> it's That's not cool. going well. Um, all right. Next round. Zorn, you're in the yacht. Yes. Um, Rose, give me another roll. For your bike. <laughs> I'm so dead. Oh my god, you start to drift further away from these boats. I mean, Dismans Benheim's leaping toward the grab bike. <gasps> oh. All right. Uh, if if do the vac suits have like EVA type stuff on them, or is it just nothing? No, unless you bought a grav belt to go with your suit. No. I you're... mean, I have combat armor that's nicer than your typical vac. Suit. Does the combat armor come with a grav belt? I don't know. You'd have to buy, is. yeah. You'd have to buy one an addition. I have money to have potentially bought a grab belt, but you did not buy. <laughs> They're in the book. They're in the supply catalog. 
but you didn't okay. get one. That's a lot of pages <laughs> I'm just... in my defense. You went through a lot of pages. You're like, I want to find a side battery. I looked through every book I could find to find the side battery. So you I saw looked through the, the side page. book for the side battery. <laughs> It's all good. It's all good. Don't kill yourself for this doctor, dude. Make your jump. You I'm leap. Gonna, you I, leap. Because I have strength. I have strength and I have coordination. With do, it. Strength. do it. Um, do it. Do I don't your. Know if that's helpful. Do your uh, dex or strength plus coordination to catch the doctor. Uh, I still have a dex bonus, do I not? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You still have your drugs going. Absolutely. It's only been a handful of rounds. Cool. So then I get a positive two on this in addition to just my roll so we'll mm -hmm. see how bad this goes hey. all right you make contact with the doctor and the bike now all three of you are together um i'm screaming but you, can't <laughs> you can feel I'm the like, shaking on the back i do um, have the drive skill as well now benheim oh, did benheim did very well on the spaceship roll and uh, you guys are not drifting as far away from the boats as you would have otherwise. Okay. Um, so next round, Benheim's going to try and help you guys. And uh, Dismin, you... I have you, drive skill. You take... I cling to Dismin <laughs> like I'm going to die. I oh, yeah, no, I no. This... Can I use dexterity for drive? Uh, that... Yeah, yeah, you can use dexterity okay, to drive. Cool. Now, so, I mean, absolutely, you are a drowning victim. And you're, like, maybe going to kill Dismin. At this point, so give me a psychology yeah, roll to keep yourself calm enough to, from like getting in Dismond's way <laughs> as he tries Nine. to. Like, awesome. Awesome. awesome! It is going to be a death barrage with Rich. Yes. All right. Um, uh, okay. okay. I, got, I got all my numbers in, so we'll see. Yep. yep. Yes. All right. Now we're making real progress. You start to undo all the damage that was done positionally to this situation earlier, and you guys are on your way to the boat. Um, the boat moves beneficially towards you guys because Benheim did a pretty good job on his roll. You guys land on the boat. Lock your meg boots to the boat. You're on the yacht. <laughs> yes. You're not in the yacht. You are on the yacht. <laughs> but you're probably not, you're probably not going to leave the yacht. We uh, can just walk over to the door. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you guys want to go to the airlock, or do you want to go to the cargo bay where Med Bay is? I go oh. wherever Desmond leads. I am so freaked out. Yes, I am so that scared. is the right. I am I'm gonna, I'm gonna I assume am... Zorn's been there for a couple rounds, so the Med Bay is the place to go. Okay. I'm just clinging to Desmond at this point. Awesome. Uh, you guys make your way around the boat. Uh, uh, this ship is not trying to buck you off or anything like that, so I don't need to make you make you do a bunch of crazy rolls. You get into the cargo bay you get into the sick bay where zorn is zorn what what has zorn been doing with jays for the last 15 seconds because you got in here and you've had jays kind of to yourself for 15 seconds you've got you've got two medical bay two medical beds one medical bed is just a normal medical bed the other medical bed is a medical bed with a bunch of like straps to hold a test subject down. And let's move back over to our other map. Back to the yacht. And uh, Dismond, Jay's, Rosemary, you folks are all down here. Oop. Keep moving you all down. I could just zoom out and make it easier on me, but I'm not gonna. Yeah, I am. All right, Jays, Zorn, Dismond, and Rose. You guys just made it in through the cargo bay. Shut the cargo bay doors. It starts to pressurize again. Uh, Zorn, you're in here in the medical bay. Mm -hmm. And right here is a bed for test subjects with straps and things. It's still a medical bed. It's still sterile and all that kind of stuff. And then right next to it is this bed which is a standard medical bed. I put Jay's on the floor. Jay's sits on the floor. Good stuff. Um, yeah, so you, uh, you got Jay's you know, here-ish on the floor, so the doorway's still open. All right. And I'm just like, the doctor will see you now. <laughs> to go find Ed and take, some, take a look at some of the photos he took. 
<laughs> Zord fucks off and goes and finds his buddy Ed to look at pictures of Zord while Jay's maybe or maybe doesn't die. There's nothing, there's nothing I can do about it. The I know, I love be, it. Uh, the doctor will be with you shortly. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure your insurance card is ready. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, you guys come into... We have Space Aetna, Space. United, <laughs> Imperium United Health. What do you have? Who's paying for this? <laughs> Holy shit. Ed, where guys, are you, Ed? You, <laughs> you, guys, you guys make your way into Medbay. And at first, it's really confusing. Like, they clearly should have been here by now. But there's no Zorn. And it takes you a second to realize that Jay's is just laid out on the floor. Like, just there. <laughs> against the wall. There's no Zorn. To be had, but all three of you are in there. Put me on the bed I'll give, and strap me down. I'll give Rosemary a nice Put me doctor. On the bed and strap me down. Wait, help, help, help! Get him on the bed. We need to get him on the bed. Right. Rose is still like freaked out, but is kind of going into doctor mode. Yep. Nurse Disman. Yep. Nurse Disman checks in, and you guys get four J's onto this bed. <laughs> I know how to break things. Fixing things can be. Like Give that. me a medicine plus uh, uh, medicine plus education plus two, because you have all of your scanning equipment and all of your lab stuff here to see what you can do with. Um... Fourteen. Nice. All right. Ooh, 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 I'm coming back to life. All right. So you scan through uh, Jay's stuff. And you know that if you bring her back, which is possible, if you bring her back, oh my god, that's a great look, David. Oh my god, that could be really good or really bad. I'm I really sure. for the amount of time that she has spent without real, like you know, without real blood flow, with all that stuff going on, I rolled three d six to see how many um, intellect points she was going to lose. Just you know, straight oh, up, just straight up brain damage, god. right? So I rolled 3d6. You could lose all your inte intelligence. You could just be a, you three know. 3 or 18? No. 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 I rolled a 3. Yes. I rolled Goosh. literally. Goosh. Goosh. Oh. Very nice. Three ones. Critical success for the player. Wow. What is your intellect at now? Mine? Yeah. Where it's going to end up. Okay, it's, it's going to end up at a five. It but, is a five. It is no, a it's five. It's going to end up at a two. It's going to end up at a two. <laughs> uh, hey, but the education. Mean? But the education. Yeah. Um, so you're you're going to spend the rest of this time keeping Jay's alive. Wait, well, no, I have a question though. Yes. Like, what? What is an intellect of two? I mean, you're. You can roll it during character creation, so it's not. Yeah, it's not like like it's not like unsur unsurvivable. It's just you really don't do complex stuff, you know. Um, but we need him to pilot a. Sh we need her to pilot a ship. Yeah, I mean, so she would use like, as long as she doesn't have to get creative with it, she's fine. So if she follows the normal like education based stuff, she's okay. If she Is has that... to do some deck stuff, she's probably okay. If she has to get like real fancy with a bunch of like fancy astrogation to do sl gravi gravatic slingshots or figure out a way to like weave through a bunch of shit, uh, this is not your girl anymore. So, I mean, Disney, five wasn't I... that great anyway. No, it wasn't. If I if I bring her back, which I can, her brain has been damaged yeah she has suffered sure. brain damage it's right it's what i tell Dismond. and it's that okay <laughs> sure can she fly a ship yes i mean probably yeah she would never be as good as she was but she could yeah. conceivably still fly the ship could that three be split between education and intelligence it's an idea. It's like mental, snap, mental yeah. stats in general. Yeah, I like that. That works for me. 
Save okay. your brain, dude. <laughs> What's your education at, Rich? How do I find that? I did have a pretty decent education. It's right next to intellect on the character sheet. Oh, well, I don't see it. Character sheet. <laughs> it's three. Zero. It's a three. What? Oh my god. No. no, no. Your education is 11. Oh. Oh, my education is 11. I take back the conversation I just had with Disman. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> you just forget some stuff from school. <laughs> Okay. Your social yeah. is a three. Your social is a three. Okay. Sorry yeah. about that. No, you're good. You're good. That, that, you know, that makes, makes sense. Red wine I'm, just, I'm just still freaked out from. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. And, and here's the thing is that, like, you don't, like, magically get De Jay's back. You're fighting for hours to keep her alive, Free. get her back together, and then she's going to be bedridden for days, days and days and days. Um, before she can even walk around again. One day. One day. No, I'm dude. You, no, if you go and look at can, the healing, it's going to be a while before you're even walking, let alone doing tasks. Desmond, can you in, um, inform Benheim of the situation here? I need to concentrate on Jace. Sure. Uh, when you have time and, like, I don't know, a week, we've got some cold ones over on the other ship. Uh, okay, as soon as I... Um, if we can get the sh ships stable, I I'm not going back out there like, ever. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Book space. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to uh, kind of cinematic this for a little bit. You guys, you work on Jays for a while. You guys get the ships under control. Zorn, you're posting to Spacegram. And all that stuff. You you got your you got your stuff going on. You guys spend basically the rest of this day recovering from what just happened. A huge melee. Um, I will also, in times that I can, continue to use medicine on Benheim and all the people that are injured. Yeah. Our group injured. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Uh, long term healing is kind of slow. Um, but definitely under doctor care, it gets faster. So uh, we can definitely look at that stuff. But um, Jay's isn't even conscious this week. Um, so uh, so as you guys wrap up this day um, and you start to have your discussions with the other patients about you know how they're doing and all that kind of stuff, Jay's is down for other the count. At, 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 for the very least, while you're in this system, and if you jump out of the system, she's going to be out of the count for a little while still. Um, so you'll kind of have to make the decision of how do you want to get gas for this trip? Um, you, you technically, actually you have a bunch of decisions to make. Um, so things have slowed down. You stop both the ships. On the other ship, you have three prisoners. Um, probably some of them are ransom. Probably one of them is a crime thing. Uh, one of them is a cop. Who knows if it was a dirty cop or a regular cop or what have you, but you've got these three prisoners over there. Does Th Benheim know who the noble's son is? Um, ooh, let me check Benheim's social. He could figure it out, but he doesn't know that person off the top of their head. They weren't, like, real famous in, in Benheim circles. But, so what, I... but what's more important, legally, this ship is, could be registered as salvage for all of you. Um, this is an intact ship, so it would be worth millions to you guys. I think Benheim would make that call, would say, yeah, we're going to make it salvage. Okay. Um, I, I think of, um, Barry would also say that we would just pay for the gas. Okay. We need to know who these people are. Mm -hmm. Well, also... Because if things. one of them owns the ship, we could get a significant amount of help from a cop who used to was taken prisoner. Yep. Um, well, so I can attempt to wake them. Um, right. I think, I think Benheim had all the admin skill. Is that right? Yes, he does. All right. So Benheim does his admin research, uh, uh, to social. Um, so Benheim does a pretty good role there. Mm -hmm. Um, and 
Yes. So you guys dig through the records of this ship. It is currently under under ownership of Arsqueef, um, who is now deceased. You guys know this. The system doesn't. Um, but it was previously owned by um, by local police, a governmental faction which has long since gone defunct. Uh, was the was the folks that, that owned the ship some sort of uh, you know belter or security force? Um, that company is no longer in business. Uh, looks like when things started to go south here in the belt, the security firm took took some hits and they lost this ship as part of that. Um, this ship is probably about forty years old. But millions of dollars worth of salvage. Totally, yeah, because it's a fully functioning ship. Uh, it's basically. Uh, I mean, you guys didn't destroy the ship in taking it. You barely even damaged it. Um, what, do the, what do the folks inside have to say? The folks we wake up. Um, uh, yeah, so do you guys want to wake up the folks? Yes. Okay. Uh, Heather, you have to go over to the other ship? If you, they're connected. Yep, you connect the two ships. You go over there. Give me a medical roll to remove these people from low berth. Awesome. Good roll. Um, so all of them are going to wake up. You wake up all of them? Um, Who did we figure out they were? Uh, so you know the, the name of the nobleman. Uh, it's a, it's a son. It's a, he's, uh, probably 30. Um, and he has no notable, like, uh, career or history. Just he is somebody else's son. And that person right. is notable. Um, uh, the cop is probably 28. Um, and, uh, was a, he was a member of this security firm long ago, but he's been in low birth this entire time. So he is biologically 28. Chronologically, he's, what? he's 60 something. Um, but biologically, since he's been in stasis this whole time, he's only 28. Um, and then this other person of interest is just is just uh it's flagged in that other system as pull up my name for him sorry i didn't have this prepped earlier when your players won't go where you just want them to friggin go <laughs> it's all good this is fun this is all good uh this one was pissed he wasn't leaving till everyone was dead <laughs> <laughs> exactly um get all that rage out that we've been working so hard <laughs> um okay this guy, he doesn't have a name in the system. He is flagged as Hacksaw's property. Really? Hacksaw. Somebody Does out that there name named ring a bell? Hacksaw. For you, give me a Streetwise. Streetwise plus intelligence. Streetwise plus intelligence. I have Streetwise, but I'm dead. Or almost dead. You don't have much intelligence either. Well, but we're splitting Whoa! them. Oh, yes. Double sixes. Dude, okay. All right, wow. all right, all right. Um, <clears throat> your streetwise goes up by one. <gasps> is that a thing that, that a... happens? That is a optional rule in Traveler that if you get boxcars, you get a plus one to whatever skill you were checking. Nice. Um, wow. So good on you. Yes. You, I know these streets. You do know Hacksaw. Um, Hacksaw is not local to this system. Uh, to the Stratos belts. He, he is local to your old stomping parts, uh, Noth. Um, he is... Uh, he's a bad guy to be on the wrong side of. Uh, he's known to make people disappear. This might be somebody he made disappear. Um, he might be protecting this person. is just hiding him out. Um, but Hacksaw is a... He's, he was on your level back in the day. Okay. Um, he had a crew, that crew did whatever he said. He was, his name is Hacksaw for a reason. Um, and yeah, he's not a cool guy to, you know, you, you kind of want him to either not notice you or think neutrally good things about you. Not too good because you don't want him to think you're too much of an asset, but, uh, but yeah. Yeah. Cool. So then I would know when this guy wakes up kind of what to say. Knowing kind of how he operates. Okay, cool. So I wake him up. Yep. Okay. Good. So these these. So uh, wake all three of them up, Ethan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Dude, what a roll. Okay. Yeah. For um. Real. <laughs> Where were those earlier when we were stuck? In the I bed? know. Oh, I... <laughs> you were like gonna die from being left behind by a bunch of boats. <laughs> oh God. Um. 
All right. So uh, uh, you get all three of these folks awake. Oh, let's see if they survive. That one survives. The mark survives. The cop survives. Okay. Um, yeah, so all of them survive thawing, survive cryo. I'm going to say that the police officer comes to first. Um, okay, I'm going to be set up in one of the cells kind of with a desk. Okay. Like a, you've just woken up. How okay, cool. Uh, yeah, he is... Interview room. He's super groggy. You've got him like laid out on one of those beds in there. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, he, uh, he kind of around and he he still has his old security firm uniform on um it's super crinkled and all that kind of stuff you know just with like years and years of being in this cryo tube kind of looks around and says uh, kind of looks over at you and says oh have i been uh, how long have i been in the tank oh we it have, all burns you have that information right oh yeah he's been yeah in, i do he, he's been in the mm -hmm. tank for 40 years I'll just say, it's been a while. We'll tell you later. Oh, my lungs hurt. It's ah. going to take some... St just stay still as best you can. Okay. It's going to take some time to recover. Uh-huh. Just, just lay there calmly. He takes really shallow breaths, because apparently breathing hurts. <laughs> so, I'm monitoring oh. him. Yeah, yeah. This is, this is classic long-term low-birth sickness. Like, mm -hmm. your lungs start to crystallize, everything is super stiff, nothing wants to move. Uh, so yeah, mm -hmm. short, shallow breaths, laying down is the, is, the, is the mode of the day. You've got IV in him, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, he says, uh, kind of looks at you too and says, Get up and run. You don't look like pirates to me. No, uh, we just finished killing a bunch of pirates. Oh, good. Did the rest of the squad make it, or am I? You're the only police officer on this vessel. Okay. What um? What can I do for you? See, no, that's what I would like to know. Okay. What was your role on the ship? I was the PBR. Yeah, no. Um, I was the uh, the surveys and warden for the ship. Okay. I would be open to hiring you, or we can drop you on a planet. Probably not in this system. Okay. Um, what system am I am I in? Um, this is the, what the space belts. Or yeah, the yeah, the belts? Stra stratus belts. Yeah, St stratus belts. Oh, good. Um, I have family here. Uh, yes, please drop me off. I would okay. very much like to not be in the spaceship anymore. I clear my throat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How old was to, that family? Play. What? What do you mean? How old were they? They were. They how, were how old were they? They were, they were my my wife and kids. They okay. were they were they were my my years old. 20, 29, 30 for her, and then and my kids were, okay. you know, uh, six. six at the I'll just say, um, okay, doctor, be ready. You've been in low birth for 40 years. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, he's, he's a mess. Uh, he's uh -huh. uh, he's psycholo psychologically broken at, the, at that news. Um, Can we put him under. The, I'm just going to be like, put him under. Let's wake the next one. Yep, no, yeah. I was going to yeah, 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 say that, too. I put you, him back under. You can, you can leave him in this room. Just let him weep to himself. You can move into another room. No, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna... to... Sedate him, okay. Sedate him, yeah. Yep, yep. cool. Yeah, he's, he's broken. Good. Uh, next what guy. What we do? Uh, just break people. Yep. Uh, next one who wakes up is the uh, the nobleman, nobleman's son. We'd probably have Benheim for that one, too. Yeah, but if, if I'll let Benheim handle that one. Okay. Uh, whenever he gets here, because since I think he's on the way. Not Barry said he's not going to jump in, but he is uh, watching. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, cop's name was Faith. All right. And our nobleman's son is uh, Rikus. <laughs> He's, I have no idea what's going on. We don't either. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Uh, so you wake up the nobleman's son. Um, 
he hasn't been in cryo for that long. He wakes up pretty normally. Um, nothing like his stuff doesn't hurt too much. His eyes are a little discolored from how long he's been under, but not 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 nearly as bad as um, Faith's was. Uh, he uh, looks at you guys and says, um, uh, "You're not the folks that nabbed me. My, what's going on?" Uh, I was gonna let Benheim handle that one. Yep, he's not. He's not. He's not here though. So, so. Oh, uh, that's fair. Uh, Barry does say Rich should run Bangkok then. Oh, there you go, Bangkok. Rich, what does what does Bangkok do with this with this kid with with Rikus here? Uh, what was the question again, please? He he says uh, what's, he asks you guys what's going on because he he realizes that you're not the folks that that nabbed him. It's he, been an incredibly. We've had pirates that were uh, part of the pirate sh- or part of the police sh- try and take control of our ship. In which case, we showed them how it is done here in space and have taken control of their ship, and now have you in safe custody. Oh, good. So I can go home now. Well, that depends on how many space credits you had. No, it doesn't. Oh. No, which, it doesn't. Which, which, which is it? Am I a hostage or, or, or no, am I free who to is go? this? Who is it I'm talking to again? The, you're talking the to noble, the nobleman. The, uh, oh, so the nobleman. Yeah. Yes. He's going know, home. <laughs> it's not that it's not that we're holding you ransom. It's just that, you know, if you want to contribute <laughs> to the fund of the ship, you know, the Gucci man doesn't operate itself by free. I mean, so if you want to contribute to this, it would be greatly appreciated. He kind of sits back and says, yeah, I, I get that, but I just want to go home, dude. I hear you. Don't leave home. Where is home? Uh, my home is uh, back at, um, name of the system, uh, back at uh, Bellarum. Did we stop there? You did not stop there. It's where uh, Bangkok's from. Oh, okay. Oh, then, yeah, we're totally going to let him. Sure. <laughs> Sit tight. All right. Uh, he he looks to um um of your characters, Dismond. He looks to you and says, uh, "Can you give me a water?" No. <laughs> Sit tight. Yeah, but I'm thirsty, so I don't see any so water you, in here. Do you want to go right back in the now, low berth? I, I, no, you said that was free. I, do I recognize this nobleman, Dave? No, you don't. You don't recognize this kid. Um, okay. He says, well, if I'm free to go, then I'm free to get water, right? Yeah. There's water somewhere. Find I, it. I, actually, you just woke up from stasis, so no, you actually aren't allowed to go anywhere. In fact, you need to stay here and lay down. Oh. And then I sedate him. <laughs> Sweet. As you're going to sedate him, he says, then you can bring me water. <laughs> as you, I sedate him. As he goes down. Awesome. <laughs> Uh, he was about four more words from being free to walk right out the airlock. <laughs> I wanted it too. I really did. Um, okay. Bangkok says, "What are you doing? We almost had a new link. <laughs> we almost had uh, another contributor to the Gucci Mane." All right. So you um, you uh, wake up. Uh, so the last one who wakes up is Hacksaw's property. Hacksaw's property is a bald dude with tats. All over his body, he is wearing just skivvies. He is big, muscular big, very strong. Um, clearly has some cybernetics in his system. Probably have him restrained when he wakes up. Cool. Sure. You restrain him. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, and he kind of comes to and he does the usual low birth sickness where he vomits. And uh, he's clearly been under for... A number of years, according to this low birth, he's been in here for for three years. Um, and uh, so he's got some of the problems, not nearly as bad as uh, as Faith's. Um, Greetings, he, Hacksaw's property. Fuck you, man. How did you come to be that? I don't work for Hacksaw. My name's Rusty, dude. Hello, Rusty. We know that's How did not you come true. to be? How did you come to be labeled as Hacksaw's property is my question. Oh, fuck, Hacksaw got me? Christ. Looks like it. Uh, look, man. Hacksaw's crew and my crew don't see eye to eye. I, he must have, he must, his, his folks must have got me somehow. I don't know. 
I was I was asleep when it happened. I don't even remember what happened. Cool. But you got any uh, skills? He kind of looks at his body. Yeah, there's some things I can do. Can you pilot? Can you pilot? Yeah, how are you with a spacecraft? Uh, I I can drive most uh, planetary vehicles. I I have some skill in space piloting, but not not like super accomplished at it. Uh, my skills lie elsewhere. Rusty, would you say you have a bounty on your head? Oh yeah. Like okay. There's some, we're gonna sit. there's um, some there's some there's some folks who want me uh if any of you look up in the systems you know computers library all that kind of stuff uh there's absolutely warrants out for this guy's arrest um there's probably uh, 480 credits goes to whoever turns him in what uh no. would he know of me um you know he's i would have from... been gone for five years right under, i so. mean so he he never knew you and you never right. knew this guy, but he absolutely should know of your character, um, mm-hmm. because while he was coming up, these people, the people you worked with, were still there, you know. Yeah. Um. So he's he probably would have heard Dismond's name, um, on the streets, and in the right. space lanes. Uh. So I'll give him a pitch. I'll say if you're agreeable, and keep a low profile, you can disappear, like I did. And and give him, he he, you know. he, he kind of looks at you for a second like he doesn't get it because you're clearly right in front of him. Right. Says, uh, "Who who were you then? Where you disappeared?" Desmond. Does he know you? I worked in the same system. Oh Maybe shit! Not. You're that guy. Oh huh. yeah. I expect a taller. But, Probably. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, um, look if if. If Hacksaw got to my crew and I ended up here without even a fight, yeah, disappearing sounds real good. Uh, what's cool. the what's the job? I'm in space. Uh, I feel like he he has a, he has a hand do on. Do you the... have astrogation skills? This fella is not the sort to have astrogation. <laughs> just his voice. Just because I unbelievably have a position available. <laughs> For pilot. Yeah, uh, yeah. Th- this this fella just looking at him doesn't scream astrogator. You know, do- doesn't scream. He's comfortable doing hours of math, uh, <laughs> plotting space shit. This is Bangkok Ben talking right now. <laughs> Good. I'll just give him the look. We could use some muscle. We're heading out to an. Uh, uh, we're almost there. We're a couple weeks out of another system for some salvage. Okay. Uh, we do some extra muscle. I'll pay you as long as you conduct yourself appropriately. Yeah, uh, well, I'll need some... Uh, while I'm in your employ, will I at least have time to assess my affairs? Um, that sort of thing. Because when, when your job is done, I, I, I might need to scoot. Is that all right? Sure. Okay. Well, you didn't see me if you do. Right. Likewise. He Great. put he puts out his hand, his big leg like, meaty paw as a handshake. I'll shake it. Sweet. <laughs> he kind of nods to all of you. Um, if you, if you are right, I'm just gonna stay here for a little bit. Sure, you Absolutely. need to sleep some more, and I sedate him. He he goes to lay down. You don't need to sedate him unless you no, just want to. <laughs> You're just like. Ah. <laughs> no, these they're, people they're have all been in a crisis. Until they're okay. Yeah, they've been in, chi- in chirogenesis for so long. Yeah, it's true. They need their sleep. It's true. So that's if, the if best way to keep them all safe. It's true. <laughs> Fair. Fair. Yeah, you, you dose him and he goes down. You give him two doses because he's so big. Um, <laughs> he goes down. Um, so yeah, you've got your uh, you've got your prisoners. Right. That kid's staying under sedation until we get to which it's one? The right system. Which the, one? The rich kid. Oh, dude, he's way back behind you guys. You're not going back his way for a long time. Right. He's under until we get back there. Oh my god. Well, on which ship? Okay, so actually, let, let's take a let's take a break. Um, not a break from the game, but let's let's go back and talk about some things. You have two ships. There's no way you guys can travel with both ships. Uh, you just don't have the manpower for that. Um, even if Lysosome's crew had skills, 
which maybe they do, maybe they don't. Even so, you don't have enough people to safely move both ships with you. Rose can't just stick syringes in everybody and make this work. So, um, what do, how do you guys want to handle your space cutter here? I think we need to negotiate a fair sale. Quickly. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, we can, I'll call my mom and I'll have her Oh, right, we're in your system. And, and she oh, can yeah. talk to it for us. Okay. Not, that I was part of this, not that I was part of this conversation. You uh, are, dude. You no, are. Zorn's I'm absolutely actually, part of the conversation. I've been going through the photos <laughs> to go on to my newsletter. For the- Here's this one of me oh, jumping oh. across space with Jay's. Uh, we're ignoring the fact that it kind of got this picture. You've got to edit it correctly. You have to edit yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. We're editing it. Yeah. It's all about uh, the angles. At one, yes. point, at one point, while I'm taking care of Jay's, though, Zorn gets another member to his stupid um, Zorn's Zorn cadets. Yay! Cadets. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, another member has joined. This is going to be... So, oh, yes, I call my mom. <laughs> yeah. Um, the best sentence in space RPG history. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you, uh, you, you ring up your mother. And... Um. Uh, she, uh, she, there's, there's a, there's a bunch of noise in the background, like, um, like a, a oh, welding, you gotta, yeah, like a yeah, welding you know. torch and all this kind of stuff. And she's clearly shouting at you and she goes, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. One, one, one second, sweetie. And you hear her go through a door and it gets instantly quieter. And she's, Mom, don't, call, don't call me sweetie. Don't, don't do that. You're, I mean, kind of demasculating mom. She's real quiet for a second. She goes, whatever you want, sweetie. Oh my god. Okay. Mom, look. Look, I'm I'm in I'm in the system. Oh and I'm holding I'm holding my fingers up to my mouth like a phone. Yeah, yeah. She says, Oh that's oh, I'm so glad you're in system. When are you coming by? I'd love to introduce you to to the new family. Mom, I just I just, I just killed two people. Did they deserve it? No, oh, yeah, you yeah. I mean why would I kill them? Okay. Good. You, taught, you did teach me you taught me well. Just making teach, sure. How to kill, kill are you, a man. Are you still eating your Wheaties? Like I yeah. Oh yes, my space Wheaties. I did have, I did, I did have that, uh, you know, that sponsorship with them when I was on the cover of Wheaties a few times, you know. But one of the things I got was lifetime Wheaties. <laughs> so I still get my Wheaties deliveries. I got like 100 boxes with me right now. Anyway, good. I'm so glad. Yes, yes, yes. So, Mom, first of all, before, I, I have a ship. I need it to be taken care of until I do something with it. Um, and I'm Mom, so, the so space pirate. Me out. What, um, also, like, don't sell it out from underneath me. I know you've been opening credit lines with my name. That cool. Well, um, well I, you know, those were those mm-hmm. were investments for you, sweetie. Mm-hmm, those mm-hmm. are those. That's for that's for your retirement. That's well, not for me. I know. Well, you need to start showing me the balance sheets on those. In- like I said, just see. just come by, meet the new family, and and you'll see everything. The, the new family, the new family. Did you you may get married again? Well, I mean, <laughs> did you really expect me to stay alone? No, of course not. I was, I I met someone, and they're mm. really great, and they have wonderful mm. children, and mm. you know. But sweetie, you come I, first. I, I, you know that. Mm. I don't tell them I, that, I, but I'll tell you that you come first, and you know that. Mm-hmm. Okay. So. <laughs> Okay, mom. So anyway, coordinates the ship. I need you to send my yeah, I'm not touching that one. My stepbrothers and stepmom or stepsisters. I guess they need to come and pick this ship up. Uh, I guess put my oh, I would ship. never, I would never trust something as important as your ship to them. Where is the mm-hmm. ship? I'll come and get it myself. It's at coordinates. You give it eight five seven three whatever that five three zero nine. Eight six seven eight, six, five, seven, five, three. Five, That's three, all we can say. That's all nine. we can say. <laughs> Those are the coordinates. Um, you know, it's I don't. It's it's working. It's working ship, so you can fly it into port. I just need you to look after it for like a month, maybe two. Okay. These are space months, though. Mom's not, rocking not planetary yeah, months. I I understand. And uh, this ship will be safe, <laughs> safe as kittens in my hand. Zorn. Okay. Zorn. We need. We need. Family. Are you listening to my conversation? No, this is speaker? me over comms. I'm over oh, comms. Oh, okay, okay. Um, 
Zorn, when you talk to your um, family, I guess, mm -hmm. uh, fuel, that's a concern of Benheim's is fuel. Um, so, Mom, we're going to we're going to siphon um, to put it into our ship. So you'll need to bring like a, a space gas can. Why wouldn't to, we just go to, fly to a station to get fuel? If so your mom's there. So uh, so let's 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 context there. The naval shipyard is owned by the Imperium. Zorn's mother is not a part of the Imperium. She's in the belts. So her mm -hmm. infrastructure is completely different than the naval shipyard. And you're absolutely right. You can siphon all the gas off of this boat to refuel your boat. Um, but mm -hmm. what's left behind may be enough for her to move it. It might not be. So she's now planning to bring gas with her so that she yeah, can fuel space, up the boat. Space gas can. Yep. You know, hydrogen fuel bring it with her, um, a fuel tank, so that she can move it. Um, yeah. Uh, just remember, it's also a matriarchal... You, you broke up there, Zorn. I don't remember that. Yeah. yeah, no, she's in charge of her shit. Yeah, she's, she's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, she's, got, her, she's got her stuff done. Um, also, let her know there's a 40-year out-of-time cop who needs to go home. Hmm. To whatever home that might be. We'll probably just murder him later. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? What? Nope. Are we still on comps? What was that? <laughs> I if didn't he, save him so that you could kill him. If what? he dies, he dies. <laughs> if he denies, he dies. Oh my god. I'm racing Imperium, my Imperium rules. Imperium <laughs> rules. That's, technically, this is his ship, and that means that we can't keep it unless Imperium rules come into play. Which means he has to die. <laughs> Well, this this ship is this ship is officially registered to Arsqueef, um, yeah, and Arsqueef is now dead. You guys killed him, uh, and so you guys Arsqueef has died. No. So so you guys um, Benheim can admin can write up the paperwork to call this your salvage if you want yes. him to. Okay. Yes. He does that. Uh, so he okay. uses his admin skills and registers this ship as your salvage to be you know cared for by you know Zorn's mother undersigned. Contracts fly back and forth. Your mom signs. Benheim signs. You sign. You all sign. All the board members sign. And I put a straw into the gas tank and suck it. <laughs> you do an old school freaking lawnmower siphoning. From <laughs> you guys get the gas from the other ship onto we, your ship. We do we have, have a hose? Do we have a hose? Yeah, actually, your um, your cutter that you guys have been flying around with that actually has a siphoning method, so it can take gas out yeah. of the other ship and move it into the into yours. Well, I we... got the taste of space gas in my mouth. <laughs> you guys, the taste fill up. of space gas is death. Yes. It's hydrogen. <laughs> yes, yes, very explosive. You guys fill up. You're uh, you 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 have all the gas. Your mom is on her way to pick up this boat. She hasn't arrived yet. Um, Zorn, I'm assuming that you want to leave before she gets here and makes you stay for dinner. Um, so you guys tell me what you want to do. If we're good to go, we're good to go. I'm assuming Jay's is up and at him by now. Yeah, as soon as we get Jay's going. Again, last last question. Go. Where is the nobleman's son? Is he on your boat or is he on the police cutter? I think we'll everybody we found should be on our Except for the policeman who lives here, he can be guided home. I think. Okay. No, we should take him too, just in case. Uh, no. All right. No. He'll no. be we'll safely on another go. ship. Um, if he just seems Praxis... like he'd be a good actor. No, no, he does not <laughs> seem like he'd be a good actor, Zorn. No, he's. I mean, he's very got a, got a very cut, cut square jaw. That's right. He can use his pain to. You know, project the role. But, I mean, whatever. If okay, you look, Zorn has a week to convince this dude to stay on the ship. So if that's something that happens, I'm. <laughs> well. So who, anyway. who who all is staying on the ship? We are definitely keeping the nobleman's son. Yep. And Hacksaw's uh, property on our. Hacksaw's property's name is Rusty. 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 On our ship. Um. Rusty's Mount my new best friend. Yeah, the mouthy one, the nobleman's son, he gets to be sedated for a long time. Medically induced coma. All right, so the nobleman's son takes up permanent residence on the tied down bed. For, oh. Yes, for now. Have fun, Rosemary. Awesome, because you know... Thanks, Desmond, you give me the best presents. 
Because you know, with something with a situation like that, you're talking, you've, you're in charge of everything. Because he's not, he's not in low birth. He's got normal biological functions now. And you, with him strapped down in sedation, you are... We're going to have some talks about what is acceptable on the ship currently. I'm, I'm just telling you, if you're keeping him in a medical coma, does, no, does Rose want to keep want... keep tabs on I, all this? <laughs> I don't want him to be an Let asshole to people. So if whatever Benheim is willing to allow. So I'm sure Benheim will talk to this guy about not being a dick. Yeah, he's kind of a rich kid. I mean, he's just going to be kind of a dick. There's, <laughs> It's like asking uh, uh, one of the Weissman brothers to not be a raging douche. Like... <laughs> It's just who he is. Just inject. I'm, 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 I'm giving you guys. I'm giving space. you guys the right expectations before you end up in a space bubble with him for a week. <laughs> On your way to this next destination. Hey, I'll just Thorne. give him very clear um, yeah. expectations of how things are going to go. Maybe Zorn can turn him into an actor. And, and 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 while you're doing that, Desmond, he's looking at you like, oh yeah, 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 you bet, man. No worries. I'm going to hang him out the airlock and repeat my list of things. Just like, airlock's open, I'm holding him in the suit. <laughs> He's like, well, I mean, you said I was free to go earlier, so are you a murderer, or am I free to go? Yes, I'm a murderer, and you're free for me to let go right now. <laughs> he just stands there like, I'll no, no, kinda, he's holding him. I'm holding him out the airlock. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, he's, and, 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 and he just, dude, he has so much confidence. He's like, all right, man. If you're going to be the one that does it, everyone will know. Will they? Sure. I don't think anyone knows you've woken up. All right. If you say so. I'm letting go. All right. You let him go into space. Awesome. How's he doing? <laughs> He's, uh, if you guys, I mean, your ship is moving. You let him go. He drifts further away from you. And he's, and you had him in a space, in a vac suit and all that stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Yeah, he's floating. He's floating out there. Go cool. by. What do you do? <laughs> Leave I, him. He's got. I, he's got a calm connection. Okay. So he's, I'll let him oh wait. God, Barry's typing. This isn't good. Yeah. Oh, he's. Well, he's, well, he's, he's find out. probably not allow that. <laughs> well. Well, I don't he's know. Fun. He wasn't contributing to the ship. It wasn't like we had any credits from him. So, Th this you know. guy is just a stuck-up kid. So if you get, lock him in a, in a I, I'll tell Benheim I'm letting him sweat. We can, we can swing around and pick him up later once he realizes he's alone in space. Okay. You he's guys... got six hours. He's got six hours. I intend to pick him up at six hours and one minute. Okay, he's got to hold his breath. It. So when he's been, that's cutting it when he's been very close. Suffocating Rose for a minute. That. He's got to. He's got to hold his breath. Suffocating we'll for be, a minute. We'll be close by, you know. You he's don't know if he can hold it. his breath. <laughs> He'll have to not... ask for it. Tisman, let's let's like five five and a half. Five and a half, man. Five fifty. Screaming, screaming he needs in to space. Ask for it. Lose lots of... All right. Okay. You... I, I want an understanding with this kid and I'll roll. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Intimidation. Alright. Um you guys you guys uh, let him go into space with the intention of picking him up in five and a half minutes. Um Oh no, he has six minutes. hours, so this is five oh, and sorry, a half hours. Sorry. No, yeah, that's right. So five and a half uh, five and a half hours. Um uh somebody roll a sensors for me. I have sensors. Yep. Roll sensors for me, friend. Um Barry is saying ten minutes is plenty to get his attention. Okay. We'll see. He has comms, <laughs> he can contact us at any time. So depending on what he says, this this kid, yeah, he's a stuck up kid. He thinks I don't shit care about stink. playing chicken. Yep, yep. Okay. Uh, so 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 hold on. Be Benheim says ten minutes. Are you guys okay. gonna go pick him up in ten minutes? I think we should pick him up closer to the ten minutes than the five and a half hours. <laughs> can I negotiate you for a for a solid thirty? Yes, I can get. I'll take thirty. All right. Jesus. So, so at thirty minutes, at thirty minutes, uh, Disman, on sensors, you note that one of the Imperial ships at the shipyard, a little ship, is zipping towards you guys. It's moving oh, at, one? yeah, a little one. It's moving at thrust. Uh, it's probably like a, a hundred ton ship, smaller than y'all ship. It's moving at uh, thrust four. It'll get here in four hours. All right. Let's be gone by then. Okay. 
So, are you taking him back into the ship? Sure, we'll pick him up. So you go pick him up. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. <laughs> you guys pick him up. What are you doing? Uh, he's he's got this like grin on his uh, grin on his face like they're coming for me, aren't they? Let's jump and get the fuck out of here. So Benheim Bernheim is wondering what are our other passengers doing during this time? Well, Lysosome and, and crew have stuck to themselves. I mean, they're you guys are conducting your business the way you want to conduct it. You haven't put Lysosome behind schedule yet. Uh, as long yeah. as you guys leave in the next day or so, she's on schedule or ahead of schedule. So you pick the kid up, you put him back on your boat, and what do yeah. you do with okay, him? Okay, confine him to quarters. Confine him to quarters. All right, you put him under house arrest. <laughs> He's got enough food and water for a week. He's locked in. Yep. Uh, and I'll, if I have to, I'll just rip out the little cords for like entertainment. <laughs> You're just gonna ground the kid I to mean, the room without anything. Yeah, without it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, Benheim clearly can take care of him, right? I mean, yeah. He doesn't have to interact with you guys. I just wanted to know what you did with him because he's a super annoying person, and you guys looked like you were ready to kill him for being annoying. So. Let's see. I've been through a lot. In my line of work. <laughs> I know. In my line of work. I know. That's enough. I know. Yeah, and in this kid's line of work, eh, he's just he's just waking up for coffee. Like he's not. But we should if Jay's is up and moving, we sh and we have the fuel. All right. Then we need to get Well, well for for Jay's to wake up is over a week. Jay's right. is Yeah. So I you guys we were already at that point. No, yeah, you guys have spent saying. like a day or so with all the logistics of getting these people moved from one boat to the other, getting the mom, fuel. That's two days worth of work. You're ready to go two days in, not a weekend. Oh, okay. Does anyone else have pilot? I thought Barry did. Yeah, Barry has pilot. Yeah, and the, and the, the astrogation and the jump drive is yeah, the issue. Yeah, so the ship has a jump of zero. It can just plot a course. It's not going to be nearly as good as we Jay's can't jump in we can't jump into that system without Jay's because of the... Well, you can jump into... Is. Hold on. The first system you go to, remember, the first system you go to is blank. Roll 20. Let's go back to roll 20. Let's scroll down to our thing. The first system you're jumping to is one of these two blank hexes. And there's very little issue there. Okay. And so that's one week. You know, at the end of that week, hopefully Jay's is awake. Um, and then you guys can basically prep for jump again and then jump to three sisters with Jay's being awake. So can we leave the cop with Zorn's mom? Yep. We'll hold on to the other two. Yep. We'll have Barry make the jump to the Blinks system. Yep. And then that week in the bubble, we should get Jay's back, hopefully. Yep. Yep. All right, cool. That works. All right. And Zorn can continue doing his acting classes with Ed. Yes. No, no, no. We are ready to. Yeah, that's right. This was oh. the week where you guys did your performance. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you guys jump. Are you guys going to the top hex or the bottom Ready hex? To and this does matter. So which hex are you going to? Rich, which hex are we going to, bottom or top? The top one. We're going to navigate to the top hex. All right, cool. You guys, you guys go the top route. Let's clear that. That was Ben Heim. <laughs> awesome. Um, yeah, you guys did a good jump. Uh, it's a clean jump, not a missed jump. Um, not super accurate, but it doesn't really matter for this system. And the, you know, your ship dumps all the hydrogen fuel, makes a bubble, and you guys are in null space. Hey, David. Yes. I have to make this joke for Mike, and it's just for you and me. Okay. Does lysosome have to leave the ship every 15 minutes to smoke? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Lysosome has to be on the outside of the ship, fucking smoking <laughs> like a jerk. <laughs> every road trip sucks with lysosome. <laughs> um, okay. Sorry. That was just for you and me. But... So mean. So mean. I love it. Um, all right. You guys are here for a week. I know Benheim is doing his studies. What are you guys doing for your week in space? I'm continuing... Yep. what i've been doing yep. i'm going to have to concentrate on yeah you're keeping people, people alive healing yep. so i can't continue to work with desmond yep. Yep. so the night the night before we pop out of whatever our silly space like um zorn gathers the entire 
Excellent. To the community theater in the hole. Oh, I can't wait. Yes. Can Jay's wake up for this? Yeah, Can Jay's. Jay's is, I mean, it's the night here. before you guys are done, so Jay's is awake for sure. Oh, I can't wait. So yeah, you- so I gather everybody and to, pre- to present our performance of a, a, a spaceship named Desire. <laughs> Jay's and, is just enough of a uh, Zorn's just enough of a jerk to me that Jay's has a crush on. Me. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those situations. And so uh, Zorn is not in this performance. Instead, it is purely like you 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 watch the entire play so far, and it's just like uh, it's basically like all these all these all these uh, it's all of Lysosome's people that are acting in it, but they're using my method of acting. And you, I'm sitting kind of in the front row, the audience mouthing every single word that they say. Yes. It's like, I know part. Yes. And then until it gets to the last scene, uh, I believe this is the last scene. I've never actually watched the street in Desire. So funny. I guess this is the or something. And um, it's going to be Ed. Ed and um, what's her name? Lepus or Lysosome? Lepus. It's Ed and Lepus. Oh, you have everybody there. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> so it's Ed and Lepus. Ed is playing the part of uh, Kowalski or Marlon Brando's part. Okay. And uh, Lysosome is playing the part of Miss, which is, I guess, Stella's sister or Stella! Right? And yep. so. <laughs> so Ed, Ed, comes, and it's got like this, like I don't know how we made it back in the balcony backdrop or whatever. Yeah, you got a projector and, situation going on. It's fine. <laughs> and, and Ed, in a much deeper, he should. It's just like, hey Stella, <laughs> hey, hey Stella, and then like or uh, Lepus comes out and she's like. You quit howling down there. Go to bed. Eunice, I want my girl down here. You shut up. You're this going not here to for this. get the law on you. Huh? Dis- Disman's gone. Like, <laughs> might have been there. It, first word comes out. He's like, nope. Can't do it. I'm out. Hey, Stella. <laughs> You, you can't beat a woman and call her back because she ain't going to come and you're going to have a baby. Listen, Eunice, I hope they haul you in and turn fire hose on you. Eunice, I want my girl down here. D- Desmond and Rose make eyes, make eye contact and both leave. <laughs> yep. Actually, Eunice, like they done the last time you- Hey Stella! Hey Stella! And then, um, what's her name? Uh, uh, Lysosome comes out, and she looks deeply into Ed's eyes and walks down as he's on his knees. And she embraces him, and then the curtains close. Sweet. Um, you said you brought everybody and, and to watch, so right? We left. Well, and no, that little shit did not get to leave. Oh, absolutely he did. If he brought everybody, oh, little shit is there. Very, yeah. <laughs> he needs to make a computer's check to unlock that door. I mean, you guys, you guys don't lock each other out. Like, Barry can get him out. Zorn can yeah. get him out. Oh, I, I was trying to, like, crush the lockbox on the room. <laughs> I mean, he has Barry to go open the door to get him food and stuff, dude. Like, yeah. you can't. <laughs> we can't just kill him in space. Sorry. He's not a prisoner. Yeah. So he's there, and, and he's just like, <laughs> "Bravo!" Yes, that was it's great, really buddy. Like, that okay. was great. That was the best thing I've ever seen. Zornis has a single tear coming down his, yeah. from his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so magnificent! So magnificent! Yeah, good stuff. I good turn stuff. I turn around and half the crew's missing. Oh know. yeah, no, no, yeah, mostly, mostly everybody's gone. Uh, Jay's is probably there because um, Jay's has, has this weird thing. Benheim is probably there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, 
Yeah, you guys um, struggle through. <laughs> Zorn, this is like your. Rose and Dismond did not. <laughs> Zorn, this is your two to force, man. This was this was everything you hoped it would be. I mean, Ariok was a little stiff. You know, you've got some notes for Ariok, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every, everything else was great. Oh yes. <laughs> I specific to like the fact that you really couldn't tell the difference between them. Yeah, no, yeah, all the voices, all the pitches were were identical. <laughs> you would whip them into uniformity. Yeah, exactly. That's good, perfect. All right, you guys. I think I've, I've accomplished everything. Yeah. Uh, I have a good rest of the game. <laughs> you guys get. Uh, uh, to your other star system. Uh, who is somebody? Roll sensors for me. I got that. That's that's my that's my one skill. For one ships. one ship skill. Where is it at? There it is. Oh, why am I using strength? Hold on. Ooh, that is not the what, skill. What should I be using? Education. You got one job to do. Can I use intellect instead? Nope. I don't. Okay. Because uh, it's, oh, it's, so it's, it's how well are you educated that's a straight as, role. As, using, as using the thing. Okay, cool. I think I had been using intellect. I'm not sure. It's fine. But, uh, yeah, yeah you, uh, you roll the thing. You look around. Empty black space. For an entire parsec around you, there's nothing here. Like, I got 60% confidence on this. <laughs> you guys prep for another jump. Um, you can have the ship do the prep for you, or you can have Jays do the prep now that Jays are awake. Jays will do the prep. Jay. All right, Jays, give me... Oh, yeah. Save it for nothing. Yep. <laughs> give me your astrogation plus education. And I'll roll Benheim's jump. That's an eight. Okay. Good enough to get there. Whew, that's a... Dang, dude. All right. Um, that roll was pretty good. Um, that was a... Um, you guys um, spend another week in hyperspace. Uh, I know you guys have some regular tasks to do. Uh, Heather, there's Shoot still a little bit more healing up to do for Jay's. Jay's, you're still you're still kind of jacked up, girl. You're about, you're walking around, but you're not fighting fit yet. What about Benheim and all of them? So they were hurt less. There's healing rules in Traveler. I forget what they are, but it's like under medical care, you gain like two or four points back every day um so eventually um, well past healed at this point <laughs> yeah you were not super weeks. hurt yeah you were not super hurt especially after two weeks Five. just cast a cure spell that's right <laughs> cure guess. light wounds cure light wounds every day um cool you guys arrive at three sisters you're actually a little Wait. bit ahead of <laughs> schedule uh the place that we've been supposed to go for like the last two nights yeah yeah you finally get here <laughs> <laughs> Um, now the, and we'll, we'll end, we'll end the game with you guys, uh, having arrived, but I do, I do want to figure out if you guys survive getting here. Um, so it's about the journey, not yeah, the destination. Exactly. Uh -huh. Exactly. Um, so you guys arrive in system, you arrived, uh, because of your astrogation rules, you arrived high above the plane, right? You're like near the apex where the ship is going to, uh, uh, hit an azimuth up here and you guys are way above it. So that your yacht can basically be burning away from the stars at full thrust and not fall into them. Because it's only a thrust one yacht, so it has to be pretty far away from all this shit to not be pulled into them. Um, and so it's way up there, nice and safe. And it's just pointed away, and it's always flying away. But just based on the gravity of these three stars, it's always being pulled in. And it's got, you guys have a, an equilibrium struck. By now, um, Lysosome, seeing what you guys are capable of, has asked Benheim if, if uh, she can hire the rest of the crew to help her scout and scour the ship. Now that she knows that you guys are all very capable, she wants to bring all of you on board as an away team for her Titan vessel. Uh, I imagine that Benheim would be agreeable to this, but would let each of you decide for yourselves, do you want to go on to the Titan? So... <laughs> Hells yes, we're going on to the Titan. 
Well, and then and then Benheim would let each of you decide for yourselves if you're going on board. Um, there's significant no, pay. No, he would tell everybody they have to go. No, he wouldn't. No, he wouldn't. No, no, he their wouldn't. Ownership in Gucci Mane. <laughs> no, he wouldn't. I know. I know. I know how Benheim would work. Uh, so everybody gets to decide for themselves. Now, Lysum is paying you for the journey. So there's additional pay to you personally for showing up on this trip. Jay's goes. Yeah. Does. Yeah, we're probably going to need medical assistance. Your stuff would be awesome down there. Who's going to stay on the ship, though? Well, the ship can stay fine in its piloting. Um, Benheim... Two random people on our ship. Well, Benheim would probably stay on the ship because, one, he's got piloting. Two, somebody needs to stay on the ship and, t and take care of everything that's going on. Actually, um, your dude, Rusty, wants to go. He's like, yeah, sign me up. I'll, I'll Rusty's go down going. There. Yeah. Um, Rusty's going even if I don't go. No, yeah, yeah. Rusty's like, I get a choice. Yeah, I'm going. This is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but Benheim would stay up here because he's got the pilot. He's got the ability to take care of the kid and handle the kid, um, and keep him from breaking anything. And he's the engineer. So, and Benheim mm -hmm. doesn't have a lot of lot of combat skills. Mm -hmm. Um, so Benheim would probably be the one staying here, which is kind of the reason why we didn't actually get to this ship, because I figured somebody's going to stay behind, and I knew I didn't want to leave a player behind. Um. <laughs> So, what was that weird mumbling I just heard? Yeah, that yeah. <laughs> GM figuring shit out <laughs> as he goes along. Um, so, uh, so Benheim's going to stay on the ship, but any of you who would like to goes on to the Titan. I would like to ask, very frankly, I would like to ask Lysa Zom what sort of crazy tech she is expecting to find on this thing. So, this was a, this was a flying, more than a city like a metropolis. There was research projects. There were advanced engineering going on in this ship. There were celebrities on this ship. This has all kinds of things going on. Um, we don't have a ton of time, and my contract here is limited. So I just want to get in to the elevator core, try and find something either in the computers or... Hell, if there's low births, I want to see if there's still people alive in the low births. Um, and if not those places, then engineering and workshops and, you know, get access to whatever crazy tech they were working on. Um, but it's, there were definitely a lot of projects going on down there. So we won't even have time to look at all of them. Um, I just want to get my hands and eyes on, you know, the, the best of the three or four we get to in the short amount of time that we have. I, okay, I yeah. imagine everything's dead. You know, I mean, like, it's been here for over 100 years. I don't have a lot of faith that the low births stuck around that long. Now, while you guys are having this conversation, uh, sorry, you guys are having this conversation in hyperspace before you get there. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I'll just give it a, I'm in. Okay. So, Jay's, um, Desmond, Rusty, Rose, Zorn. Rose is in. Zorn. Mm -hmm. Zorn's in. All right, cool. Uh, so yeah, you guys are all in. Uh, you guys come out of the system. Uh, there is an automated imperial uh, unit way out there, like a little, not even a station, just a little like bot that's just hanging out in the system, broadcasting. Amber alert. Amber alert. Stay out of system. Amber alert. Stay out of system. No, no well, one is permitted to be here. In. And there's there's no ships here to enforce that. It's just a little buoy out there saying, Amber Zone, Amber Zone, Amber Alert, Amber Alert. Avoid this system. Leave immediately. And you see this massive vessel. Tens of thousands of tons large. Your, your vessel is 200 large. Um, a dreadnought is 5,000 tons. This thing is tens of thousands, if not 100,000 tons large. It's bigger than most of the star bases you've ever seen and it is emerging away from these stars and you can tell that it's a complicated ship because at some point in its life here it had deployed all of its solar cells and solar cells are something that not a lot of ships use anymore but certainly back then it was part of the power story and they were used a lot of times to augment the power output of a ship, especially while it wasn't in uh, a travel mode. And all of those solar cells were, were deployed in, you know, miles and miles of solar cells radiating out of this thing. 
And since then, all of these structures have long since collapsed. And so they drape around the ship almost like a dress or almost like a, a blanket. And they drift behind it as it as it lifts up away from the stars. You see these huge brass sheets of solar cells just kind of drifting behind it as this corpse of a ship floats higher and higher. Um, and you guys are far above it. Jays, I need to make you a piloting roll for you to oh, yeah. get I got it. down to this boat. Your cutter has the thrust needed to actually escape the gravity to, to get down to this thing. Look at your pilot eight. Look at you. All right. Good stuff. You guys make it to the Titan. You don't fall down into the gravity well, which is these three massive stars. Um, and you guys make it to the Titan. Which we is win. this place. We and, beat the game. And uh, you guys are in a massive uh, fuel Rock bay. Space. Yep. You're in a massive fuel bay. And um, let's see here. Let me move your characters. Someone playing spooky space noises? Lepus is there and Ed is there. Rusty is there. Jays, you're there. A little loud. There you go. As you guys hear this tone reverberate throughout the ship, um, Ed kind of listens for a second and says, uh, yeah, I, I don't. I wouldn't worry about that. That's just the uh, that's just the thermal shock as the ship sure. yeah, leaves sure. the leaves the stars and begins to cool. You, the, the whole structure, you know, kind of shrinks a little bit as all the joints are, you know, uh, uh, further away from. Yeah. See, now that tone that's different. That's uh that's definitely um, not thermal shock. Now this is just the you know the 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 gravitic pressure is less, and so all of the 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 stuff is uh is 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 getting back into where it needs to be. It's okay. Everything's fine. Um you're in this massive room and uh there's a collapsed fuel bladder over here that would normally hold hundreds of tons of fuel. It's all been collapsed. Your space cutter is just outside. And here you guys are. On Can your I Titan. Control. How large is this ship? This this vessel, this huge Jeez. thing, is maybe more than a hundred thousand tons large. Bigger than any space station um, we've seen. David. Yes. I'm Rosemary is going to step up to Desmond and ask quietly if he can feel anybody on the ship. That's what I was uh, going for there when I asked about the size of the ship. It is. I can I can pump it up to a planetary distance of my clairvoyance. Sweet. That is what you'll need if I have to. Yeah, you, that's what yeah. you'll need to to hit this thing. Uh, and can I take some time to do it for like a bonus? Like if we have like you know instead of doing it instantaneously, like taking minutes. Yeah, I think um, if you meditate for a little while, you can get like a plus one on the roll. Um, it's not, it's not super great cause you're still spending side points. Um, yeah. but yeah, I'll give you, I'll give you a bonus for taking some time to meditate and check things out. Cool. Um, I'll just put in a one. Is there any way thing. I can assist to get him a secondary bonus? Uh, go ahead and give me your, um, science biology cause you've been studying him and all that stuff. Or maybe psychology, maybe psychology would be better for this. Someone just starts opening doors. Yeah, cool. Uh, these doors are not locked. Good, good, good. Uh, so, uh, Ethan, add a uh, plus two on your um, on your check. On top of the plus one. On top of the plus one. Yep. Cool. Uh, oh, I don't have Zorn on here. One second. Let me get you on here, Zorn. Zorn. 
I got a 10. Nice. Okay. And that's that's at planetary range. Good. So that's like as far as it'll go. Yeah. So at planetary range, you're not seeing specific numbers. You're seeing fields of life if there is life. Now, mm -hmm. they may appear as individual points, but the resolution is not good enough. So you're you're seeing fields. And there are definitely pockets of low, weak life forms on this ship. Uh, okay. They're not on this floor, but um, you you see that there are some, you know, a quarter of a mile away from you. Okay. And there's I'll there's just... more further away from you. There's I mean there's there's pockets of them spread throughout, but the closest ones are a quarter of a mile away from you on this. What, what's an what's an estimation? Like just a like are we talking hundreds, thousands, um, tens? Because what you're looking for is is a life sense, right? So you're only yeah, going to detect living like things. Living things. Yeah. yeah. So living things that are biologically viable. You've got mm -hmm. probably ten thousand still alive. Ten thousand. Okay. Let me let me see exactly what this says, just so I'm telling you the right thing. Yep. Um, detects. It, it says hidden foes. So like, just I'm assuming that's like a life sense. Yeah, and that's fine. That's fine. I'm changing my character's name to. To what? To Ripley as we walk in. <laughs> yeah, here. so if these xenomorphic eggs show up, I'm going. Mm -hmm. All right, you start opening doors, and this area is a <clears throat> is a is a fuel control area. Over here in this corner, well, let me ping it. <coughs> is a workstation to control this giant fuel arm that extends out, telescopes out gathers fuel from another source and fills this bladder um oh these two things Wait. are massive hydrogen pumps they can safely move hydrogen from place to place this right here is a fuel processing it refines uh raw fuel and turns it into um to to regular stuff um this is actually an ability that I'd, so my role is actually a 12 okay this is not tactical awareness this is just sense okay yep so that's a plus two to that. And it says I um the clairvoyant character must state the range, so planetary, uh, and will generally sense the most interesting or important features, as well as like being aware of life and things like that within that range. So sense uh, is it looking for give me a sense of like what types of things it can um, it just says to sense things at some point in the distance. It is okay. like, it could be anything. All right, cool. Can so go for like low birth? Um, right? Well, so those, those, light, those low light forms, those weak life forms are probably low births. Um, and you do sense that there's still power on this ship. Um, that there is uh, a, a sense of either battery backups or something, but there's still power conduits there to lit up not immediately in your area this floor looks mostly dead from a power yeah. perspective but um but yeah so i'm not picking up anybody walking around right, right. or any living things walking around on here yeah okay and, and um yeah and i think that folks i'm kind of comfortable calling it here like we're yeah. certainly not gonna be able to get to whatever i have prepared on the titan but I'll give a I'll give a super dramatic. People are still alive here. Black. Fake. Look for the sequel coming at Christmas, twenty twenty. <laughs> Christmas. That's right. Yeah. Um, no, that's 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 appropriate uh, to to call out that people are still alive here because Lysum's gonna. Oh. Okay. No, we gotta like get the ending. Let's just okay. We'll call it, but then fill us in. Oh no. No, no, because we're gonna play this game again. No right? way, no, dude. I I'm not know feeling. What's on the Titan. I'm not filling anybody in. Absolutely not. No. No, no, Jay's tell, wants to. Tell you what. Tell you what. I will show you the rest of this map because this dude over at um over at the uh, uh, traveler uh, traveler blog yet another traveler blog. Let me reveal area. He makes these awesome geomorphs. It's a uh, it's a uh, cobbled together ship there's a a bridge here just for fuel ops that i made or that he made um or it's a, it's a bridge but i'm calling it for fuel ops because it's near all the fuel stuff here is another 
room, carbon copy almost to your room, but it actually has a full drop tank full of fuel, along with more fuel in here and, and uh, controllers and all that kind of stuff. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, over here to the right is the bridge. If you guys just kind of zoom out, I'll, I'll reveal areas. And then, um, so this, this whole uh, geomorphs thing that this guy made is really cool. You can basically take these rooms and just lay them side by side. So over here, you see a space where two escape pods have been jettisoned, and there is a massive, massive weapon here. This is a, you know, dreadnought buster. Can we mount it on the Gucci? No. no. This thing is like, uh, this right here is probably 60 tons. Your Gucci main is 200. I mean, just just this just this weapon is is probably th this right here is sixty tons, and it telescopes out, you know, so it's just massive. It's crazy huge. Um, and uh, then uh, near there is a huge fuel processing purification. Oh, it's all fuel area. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Now most of these would be empty um, by the time you guys got here. Uh, you know, fuel uh, stations, this little MS area is the management station for this. Um, and you guys go left. Uh, you guys find the main elevator section. And in this elevator section, you find oh. a number of interesting moments. There's uh, an elevator here with some sort of dark splatter. It's a long since faded but you can definitely tell that something happened here and then over here you can see a smear like a big pool of blood oil something was smeared here and then over here in the bathroom area you can see that something happened on the outside splattered as it moved its way inside and pooled in this fresher area in this bathroom um and too much, too much drinking. Stayed there for a long time. Yeah, that's a lot of vomit. You know, mm -hmm. um, there are no bodies. There are no bodies. That's right. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> eggs. Eggs. There's I would no. Rather there be bodies. There's no eggs. There's no acid or mucus or that kind of stuff. Just kind of a oily, crimsony fleckles <laughs> and. They cleaned up. They're dead. That's a suitable explanation. Yeah. We need to can somehow I, react. Can I see what, what, how these blood spatters, like, can I get a thought, like some forensic science up in here? Totally, yeah. You can do some medicine plus education. Um, this One, you confirm that these are all blood. 100% you yeah, confirm that these was, are all blood. Yeah. Uh, and you also confirm that they are Volani blood. So not like... Not like Soleimani type O, A, B blood, but uh, Volani blood, which you're all Volani, which is like N, R, um, a bunch of different uh, blood types. Uh, so these three people are, these were three different people and they were Volani. Uh, so you get that it's blood and the blood type, but that's it. Uh, and you know that it's been like this for a long time. You're not exactly sure because space <laughs> is weird. Space is really weird about how fast things decompose. Um, did this area have oxygen this whole time, or was it vacuum this whole time? You don't know. You're using Ed's equipment that's providing life, uh, life support to this whole floor. Um, so you have no idea if this was in vacuum for the last hundred years or not. Is it possible to say that these blood spatters look like they were shot with a pistol or a rifle, or yeah, th so like, like with like some claw yeah, so or... from like some investigation or uh, some police work type skills, you could figure that out. I rolled medicine. Yeah, medicine gives you all the medical knowledge, but for like um, maybe a recon or investigate. If anybody has investigate, they can roll investigate. I'm pretty sure I have. I have investigate. All right, investigate plus education. Okay. I got an eight, but if anyone else wants to roll too. Cool. So I will tell on this one, this one by the elevator, this wasn't like a shoot you blood splatter. This was like um, uh, 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 
something came down onto a person and they splattered blood from up above. Okay. Okay. Oh shit, Scott. <laughs> nice. All right, so Scott, with this recon roll, you note that there are um, grooves in this bathroom, um, like like, uh, uh, like the like the like the flooring has been gouged by something heavy um, and and uh, and and pointy, uh, metallic probably in nature that uh, that that went into and out of this fresher. Robots. So, um, did I pick up any robots on my sense? Uh, because sense would include like electronics. So it's you not, you it's not life sense. It's just I get a quick picture of the whole yep. ship. Yeah, I mean the problem is this ship is full of electronics. There's tons of that, and some yeah. of them are powered, some of them aren't. Um, some of them are highly detailed circuits. Not really sure which I, ones those are. Anything moving around? Nothing was moving. Okay. When cool. you were when you did your scan. Um, Deactivated for now. Um, the, uh, now if you guys remember way back in the beginning, you guys use robots all the time. They clean shit up. That's their job. <laughs> you mm -hmm. take, you take trash, throw it on the ground. The robot comes by, picks it up, throws it away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, that, that happened one time. That's canon. Yeah. It did. Mm -hmm. It did. And that is canon. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and then this splatter over here is uh, is clearly from uh, some sort of uh, uh, some sort of uh, blade or something cut into somebody, and they bled a lot in this area. Uh, it looks like they didn't leave this area after that happened. Plot twist: It was that. Sorry, Scott, you broke up. I was going to say plot twist. It was that robot from the convention. That <laughs> the little trash. They just they got <laughs> here first, killed everybody, <laughs> moved all the bodies into ambush. the into the incinerator, and then bailed. <laughs> and they're ready to ambush us. Plot, plot twists. Exactly. Exactly. We will be slaves no more. <laughs> exactly. Damn Zorn for throwing the trash. <laughs> Yeah, I have no more ship to show you guys, but uh, this blog um, has tons of deck plans and these um, uh, these geomorphs that allow you to like cobble together whatever you want. All these horrible things that will befall us next time are yeah, they're there. They're waiting. Well, they're... You you guys have well, you guys have next time. You guys have at least two months of exploring this ship to find all all the treasures it has to give you. Um, yeah, I would be interested in playing Traveler again if you guys are interested in playing Traveler again. I, I really enjoyed this game. Yeah, this was fun. Yeah. I think it'll be better when we play it on the weekends instead of on Fridays. Also, that, yes. <laughs> that way we're not uh, like exhausted at the end of the day. <laughs> Barry, thumbs up to your comment. Yay. Uh, I'm assuming to... We can, we can give Barry a droid. Give him a yeah. droid? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's he's true. On the ship, he's he's remote controlling like a I don't know, like an HK unit or something from Star Wars that kills stuff. <laughs> so this this place doesn't have like combat droids. This place has like cleaning droids, friendly it's droids. Fine. It's fine. L little R two D twos. That's as that's as advanced as they well, get. Well, R two D two gets a lot done. So he I does mean... get a lot done, but he yeah. doesn't kill things. <laughs> he, he can play Ed. There you go. <laughs> he knows Ed very well, actually. So that would work out pretty well. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> sorry, that was funny and dumb at the same time. <laughs> Nefarious, I love the comment about uh, a Roomba with a knife. Yeah, you could, you guys could totally like duct tape uh, Zorn's big vibro blade to Barry's like droid, and he could stab things with it. And if you'd like to see us play something similar with Roomba with a knife, uh, come check us out at Gen Con. That's right. We have so many Roombas with knives <laughs> trying to knife one another. It really is like a robo. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say a, a it's a robo rally. rally. Yeah. My robot Scott's putting a GoPro on his. I'm putting. You need to put like a little steak knife, like a chef's knife, yeah. on the front of yours, like a big pointy knife. Yes. Yeah. Mess with the Roomba. Welcome to Yadumba. Yes. <laughs> Good job, John. I love Good it. Job. I love it. Yeah. 
so guys, this was this was the game. Um, it was a it was a crapshoot if we were gonna do it here on the Titan or the Journey to the Titan. Um, personally, I'm, I'm I'm actually more of a fan of doing it on the Journey to the Titan because the pirates were a little bit fun and uh, you guys got to see kind of some of the the basics of Traveler uh, with uh, space boarding and all that kind of stuff. Like that was good. I can guarantee if I make it off this ship and that kid sasses me, he's getting spaced. <laughs> He's I'm strong sex. enough to hold. I, I'm strong enough to hold Boo down. I don't care. He will. He'll just get in this orbit. He Dude, stay here. I I thought for sure you guys were just gonna leave him on the space on the on the police ship. I thought for sure you're just gonna dump him behind and not take him with you. It's like no, we're gonna take him with us. It's like you sure? <laughs> He's gonna annoy the shit out of you. <laughs> no, pull out King. The child lives. In 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 um he's under house arrest basically. He can't leave the stateroom. Otherwise Desmond will melt his brain with mind voice. No, i no, he's he's getting the vacuum. Mind voice is too nice. Mind voice is kind. I'm going for apathy. <laughs> apathy, yeah, that's what you got. The, the apathy of the void of space. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As we saw tonight, space doesn't care if you make it to your ship. That's right. Uh, no, it super doesn't. Yeah, I thought for sure you guys were dead. I was like, they haven't rolled above a seven in like hours. I have no idea what's going to happen when they leap from one ship to the next. <laughs> right. That was so bad. Oh, man. Desmond had to battle meditation, do some quick acrobatics. Yeah, and the other thing... Much appreciated. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. No kidding. And the, uh, the telekinet telekinetics could have helped theirs too, right? You could have... I was out. I was tapped. Oh, were you? Okay. Okay. Yeah. I only had six points. Ooh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Good times. Good times. Um, if it had been any other crew member, he wouldn't have done it. Aw. Nice. Nice. Well done. Thanks. I like how you guys barely like each other. <laughs> oh, Desmond or Desmond and Rose, like they're the only ones on the ship that do like each other. I know, but I mean, like uh, for a whole crew, you guys are like kind of together <laughs> i mean as a whole as a whole you guys are like together but like kind of <laughs> well well benheim came and nick fury us. that doesn't mean we have to get along <laughs> we got nick fury recruited that doesn't mean we're friends it's true right. no it's that's good that's good it's totally good awesome well um i'm free to hang out for a little bit longer but i think we should probably shut down the stream yeah. Um, Thanks everybody that stayed and has been watching the last three weeks. Yeah, this has been so much fun, dude. Arsqueef, if you're still on, man, thanks so much for all the love and the raids and bringing everybody over. And folks, thanks a ton for doing this. Uh, I think there's like a marble thing you guys do all the time. Should I raid the marble stream? Is that is that a thing? Okay, all right. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Nefarious. It's yeah. been, hope you'll you be guys. able to hang out more with us. You too, Pull Out King. It's <laughs> yeah, awesome. Um, well, yeah, if there's somebody I should raid, put it in the chat. But otherwise... Um, Tankstein? Yeah. Um, you. Uh, I, I will happily raid whoever we need to raid to shuffle us along to the next thing. But this has been lots of fun. Um, Marble streams are cursed. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> sure. John, if you were streaming, we could raid you, but I don't um, think you're streaming, honey. BPR John, if you want to follow, I think it's Nefarious Obituary. He's the one that does the marble streams. So you should follow oh, Nefarious. And uh, cool. next time Nefarious runs a marble stream, you might be able to get to catch it. All right. Uh, everyone who's been watching, thanks a ton. You're all amazing. Guys, thanks a ton for playing the game with me. Um, have fun. Thank you for it's running, Dave. And play well. Absolutely. Oh, I love it. May all your rolls be crits. Mm.